BBL semifinals is all about opportunity. It's an opportunity for redemption, a chance to use the pain of previous defeats to fuel success. It's an opportunity for, valid for validation, a chance to take your place among the very best. Two teams look to seize that opportunity as they begin their quest for the championship. Opportunity beckons only here in the PVL, the heart of volleyball. PVL second, uh, all Filipino has reached fever pitch as we are in the first day of the semifinals. This is the second game actually of our doubleheader today, and we still feel the intensity here at the Phil Sports Arena. It was a three setter, it was a uh, sweep for the first game, but an exciting one. But we are ready for game number two between these two teams Signal HD Spikers going up against the Choco Mucho. Flying Titans. Good evening, everyone. We're so glad you are still on hand. This it promises to be a, a big, big, intense first game between these uh, two teams battling it out to try to advance. We are looking at number two and number three, and they really went the long way, the long route to get here. We're going to talk more about that. Let me introduce myself, Jikiro Puno here with Jamie Lavatoria. You heard from Franny Reyes, and to say that this conference was intense. I think it's an understatement. That's right, Chiki. When you look at the journey of both squads, they've experienced heartbreak losses and triumphant wins. But when it comes to this conference, they are able to break the ice and crack the code to get to this point. Oh, wow. You just got me even more excited. <laughs> <laughs> because I know everybody is, is really raving to see how these two are going to uh, play today because later on we'll also go back to their first meeting and what uh, that meant to both teams. But before that, we want to um, talk about these teams one at a time and see really how they got here, starting off with Signal and their road to the semis. We're going to also look at their skills rankings. Not that uh, too surprising there. They're kind of in the middle of the road for mostly all the skills except for one, which is kind of uh, caught my attention. The digging is going to be a problem for them. What did you notice here, Jamie? That's right. In terms of attacking, it always has been a strong suit for the Signal HE Spikers with 31.43%. That's because of Ses Molina, Ria Menezes, and Gonzaga, who are the seasoned Spikers of their team. Now, number four in setting, we have Jel Kayuna, the two-time best setter in the PVL, who has done a stellar job of allowing her spikers to shine. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, these rankings uh, belies the actual performance of these um, these girls because they got here. That's right. They are in third place and you just don't just look at the rankings, you see how everybody gets to play together and how everybody brings in their A game at the same time and that's what we are looking out for, for the Signal HD spikers. Everybody's jealous of this girl, Franny <laughs> Reyes, because she gets to talk to these girls, to the teams, right before they come out on the court and you had a chance to chat with the Signal HD Spikers. I did. So, fun fact for you, Chiki and Jamie, the last time these two teams faced each other in the semifinals was in the 2023 Open Conference. And Signal came out victorious there, and ever since, they've had a bit of a mental edge over the Flying Titans. But that changed this conference when the Chocobucha Flying Titans swept them. So when I talked to Coach Shaq about that, he said that that coupled with their other big losses from this conference forced him actually to change his practice plan and get more creative. He also needed to make the adjustments before his players could make those adjustments on the court. And ever since, we've seen a more gelled Signal HD Spikers, a more intact unit, and that's exactly how they came here to the semifinals. Of course, we've given you the numbers, we've showed you the stats, we've talked a bit about you know the adjustments that the team has had to make, but we'd also like to hear what our competitors think of the HD Spikers, and we got to speak with BLDT's Kat Arado and Savvy Davison, and the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers, Ivy Luxon and Jolina De La Cruz, as the single HD Spikers take center stage. 
si Ate Celes mabubuhat na yung team niya and yung mga teammates niya, alam din nila kung ano yung role nila. Mahilig silang mag-combination play, magaling sila, mautak sila. Gusto talaga nilang manalo. Kasi syempre yung signal din, buo na din sila na team eh. Siguro nagkaroon din sila ng mga struggles sa mga games kasi wala si Ate Rad. Which is si Ate Rad din talaga kung pumuntos talaga, grabe. And yung defense niya talaga, ganyan. Si Ate Sas kasi tahimik eh. So hindi mo siya masyado makikitaan na yung talagang like si Ate Rachel na talagang pinupush niya na vocally. Pero si Ate Sas mas more on ano talaga siya gawa. Yung talaga yung ano niya, yung parang yung leadership niya na gumawa ako, gawa din kayo. Remember the one thing that I walked into was their block again. Signal has one of the better blocking teams. Um, they're very disciplined when it comes to being head on with the ball. Um, and it's very hard to hit around, right? Even if you get past them. Um, I think Signal is very disciplined overall. Um, they have Sess. Um, as an outside, um, so you know you had that kind of rivalry outside, open against open. But you know I was kind of nervous, so I was like, okay, you know, just play your game. Bias ko din si Vani eh, and nirut ko siya this season, lalo na nakapasok sila ulit sa final four and yung meron siya this season magtuloy-tuloy. Malaking puhunan yon para sa team nila, kasi parang naglalaro narin siya as a veteran. And yun nga, kahit wala si Ate Rachel, na gampanan niya yung role na yun na binigay sa kanya ni Coach. And that gives us an all new perspective about these players on the court kasi nakikita natin what their opponents think of them. And that is a really, really great. I'm sure you all have your opinions as well. And we want to make sure that we hear from you later on. But first things first, we talked about Signal. We want to talk about the road of Chocomucho. How did they get here? 10 and 1. What a record. I know. I've actually had been teammates with them in the past years. And you see the much improvement in this squad. Now they are popping off in almost all skills aside from blood. But the Flying Titans have growth in terms of maturity and they now move with such grace and stability. Now there's better production from this conference from Dina Wong, their playmaker, and she's being strategic in her decision making. Now let's not forget Rondina as well, who is given that missing piece to the team. And lastly, Tang Ponce, who stabilizes the defense and receive it. We head over to Franny who had a chance to talk to them in the dugout earlier. Yes, I got to speak with your former teammates, Jamie. And it was really, we, we did also talk about, you know, their eliminations game against Signal where they swept. And in the past, I did mention that there was a mental edge over the Flying Titans. But in that game specifically, Coach Dante and the coaching staff told the girls, whatever you're feeling, whatever you're thinking, leave that inside the dugout. When we go out on the court, own your mistakes, own the system, and own the way that you play. And that's a testament to the maturity that we've seen from the Flying Titans all conference long. And they finally finally got their way back into the semifinals sabi nga ni coach Jesse panindigan na natin to umabot na tayo dito and there is a reason that we're facing the HD Spikers again now just like with the HD Spikers we also got to hear from our or from the com competitors of the Flying Titans we got to hear from Petrogas's Janelle Cheng and Jonas Sabete and Akari's Fifi Sharma and Faith Nesperos as the Flying Titans take center stage Siyempre, one of the veterans team, siyempre kailangan nila makapasok sa Final Four. Mas sobrang tibay din talaga nila. Very sure that the arena will be so loud. After four conferences, nakapasok na rin ang Chocomucho sa semifinals. And uh, I think yung naramdaman ko sa kanila when we played against them is sobrang gigil sila, sobrang uh, gustong gusto nila manalo. And we felt that. And it was really dominating at that time. Kaya I guess talagang deserve din na nandyan sila after four conferences. Kasi talagang you could see their yung team kasi it's not only one or two players it's the whole team na sobrang gigil na gigil and gusto nilang may marating sila importanteng role is yung magiging role ng setter kung paano nila papaganahin yung uh, teammates nila and kung paano bico yung gagawin nila
right now, I think they're more gelled with, with each other. Doon kami nahirapan sa kanila kasi super every time na they'd attack, talagang nahihirapan kayong basahin with blocking, defense, everything. Talagang it's very evident this conference na una-una, they're much more confident with playing with each other. They have a very solid fan base. So, madami talagang tao. Talagang hindi lang yung players mag-aaway, pati yung mga crowd. Dapat maglalaban din sila sa lakas ng cheer nila. We're looking forward to the energy sa game na to. Iba yung labanan na to eh. Talagang labanan of heart talaga. Ay nako, asahan nyo yan, PP and Faith. Dahil nararamdaman na namin yung energy dito, hindi pa tayo nagsisimula. Pero I also want to go back to what Janelle said. And I think it is really going to be on the shoulders of the setters today. And sabi nga, no pun intended, but they are gelling with Jel Cayuna at the uh, helm there. And she is a control tower. And why not? She is really the playmaker. And she is what makes things happen on the signal court. That's right, Jel Cayuna is responsible for the successful attacking of her spikers. When it boils down to consistency and accuracy, Kayuna feeds her teammates with the sets that are on point just the way they like it. Now Kayuna tallies 15 aces, which is another strong suit from the player, which creates difficulty for her opponent. Definitely a attacking setter as well, number four in the rankings. But we want to talk about the one who is on top of the rankings, Boss D. Right. Boss Dina Wong, and she has really, I think, broken out. I I think nobody will argue when we say this has been her breakout conference. That's right, Dina Wong has really come into her own and she has improved greatly on her connection with her spikers. In the Invitational Conference, she had 3.63 excellent sets average and now a 5.1 average, which you see, I mean, the numbers don't lie. But today, it's very important that Dina sticks to the system of Coach Dante and stays consistent all throughout. Absolutely. And, well, kung hindi tayo magkarinigan mamaya, Jamie and Franny, it is because we know that Dina likes to feed Cece, and when she flies up there, everybody screams. And the same thing happens over on the other side also with Cesc Molina. You know, they know the air up there. Want to talk about that, please? That That's, right. That's right. We have the premier spotlight with Cesc Molina and Cece Rondina, both seasoned spikers. And Cesc Molina, who is on your left, is the reigning MVP in the Invitational conference doing the heavy lifting for signal and leading by example now on this on the right side we have cc rondina only greatness from cc rondina gelling at the right time with the titans and third in spiking and receiving and usually she's the target for the serves but she seems to be unfazed through everything and we're seeing that they have not stopped learning. I mean, they adjust, and we are going to see, I think, an all-new Chocomucho, an all-new signal. This is going to be a different head-to-head -head from what uh, we saw in the first round, I think. What do you think? I think, Franny, we want to know what they think too, right? Definitely, we do want to know what they think. And it's good that you guys talked about our premier spotlight because we do love to get our fans in on the conversation with our Filipinas Live question of the game, which is which spiker will power their team to a semis win? Will it be first time captain and last conference as MVP Cesc Molina or will it be the cherry bomb? CC Rondina, let us know on the Pilipinas Live app or join the conversation on social media using the hashtag PVL2023. But Chicky and Jamie, it's not just spikers, it's blockers, it's setters, it's liberos, it's the whole team. That's right, it's all of you fans too. So take a quick break. When we come back, it is the start of the action here in the second game of the semifinals between Chocomucho and the Signal HD Spikers. Sort of an angle right behind the blockers. What an exchange we're seeing right now. This is going to be so exciting kasi nga hindi iba yung labanan na to eh talagang labanan of heart talaga. Talagang magpapakamatay talaga sa yung bawat teams para lang hindi bumagsak sa kanila lang kanya-kanyang court. For Serena presenting your third semi-finalist, the Chatty Tigo Crossovers! We all know after four conferences, nakapasok na rin ang Chocomucho sa semi-finals. Sobrang gigil sila. Gustong gusto nila manalo. And... Cherry kasi like, gusto din nilang makatong-tong talaga. So, eto na yung inaantay nila na like aiming din sa last sa top four. The Ate Ea is unstoppable. Now, talagang nobody can stop them in the semis. One of the better blocking teams. They're very disciplined when it comes to being head-on. Vani, lalaro na rin siya as a veteran. I was up in a couple of rotations against Gumabao. 
and she's a very strong walker. Papabayaan na maagaw yung corona. Individually, malakas sila eh. So, paano pa papaginagsama-sama sila? They're like going into war na talaga. Who's the best among the four? Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our officials for this match, our first referee, Hubert Matematico, Asian International Referee. The second referee is Ryan Vincent Corpus, National Referee. And now let's meet the starters first for the Signal HD Spikers. Outside Spiker from San Bella University, number seven, team captain, Seth Molina. Middle blogger from the National University, number two, Rose in Doria. Outside Spiker from the Ateneo de Manila University, number five, Benny Gandler. Opposite hitter from Central Philippines University, number eight, Jovelin Gonzaga. Middle blogger from the University of Santo Tomas, number 18, Ria Menezes. Center from the Far Eastern University, number 22, Jill Tayuna. Southern Liberal from Rizal Technological University, number 21, Angela Nunag. And the head coach for signal is Shaq De Los Santos. And now the starters for the Choco Mucho Flying Tigers. Outside fighter from the University of the Philippines, number one, Issa Molde. Center from the Ateneo de Manila University, number three, Dina Wong. Middle daughter from Ateneo, number seven, Mehdi Matayag. Opposite hitter also from Ateneo, number ten, Kat Tolentino. Outside fighter from the University of Santa Colas, number 18, C.C. Rendina. Middle daughter from Dallas Altas Marinas, number 22, Cherry Nunag. Starting liberal from Anderson University, number 16, Tan Ponce. And the head coach for Chocolucho is Dante Alinsaluri. This game is held under the supervision and regulation of the game series with Sport. It is game one of the semis between Single and Chocolucho. This is the PBL. Here are your starters. Start a new way to watch the PBL via the Filipino Live app. For Filipinos everywhere, download and subscribe now for 149 pesos. And the starting lineup for the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. And you know that everybody here in the arena is ready for the action because they are screaming already and we haven't even started. The first serve hasn't happened yet. That's right, Chicky. When you look at both squads, they're the same almost in terms of talents, right? They have an even matchup here and it will be very exciting on, you know, I want to talk about the setters here, the strategy of the setters of Jelka, Yuna, and Dina Wong, because in terms of blocking, they're up in there in terms of ranking. So I wonder how this will unfold. And you of all people will have a lot of appreciation for how difficult it is yes, to yes. be the, really the conductor That's right. of what is going to happen. And you know that we are looking at not only their strengths, but their weaknesses as well. That's right. And I'm sure both squads will try to exploit what they think is uh, weak on the other side. Definitely. And I'm sure training, they train every day for hours. They know the patterns of their opponent. So nakita natin sa ranking, kung may weakness ang Choco, it would be the blocking. Yes. And for Signal, it would be Taking their... Receiving. That's right, their defense. Yep. Rally already. First point. Do expect a long game to <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> And that is what we want. The signal will get on the score. I mean, rather, Chocomucho gets on the scoreboard first after that rally point of the block there. Mari Madeyag finishing it. Oh, Kat Valentino rather blocking Ria Menezes on that B-quick attack. See, they kind of hurt us. Because we're saying that, <laughs> yeah. you know, And you know, knowing Chocomucho, that is what they work yes. on. Talagang yes. pinukpok nila, knowing that they're going up against signal. And look at that! Wow. <laughs> two, that's right, two block points in a row. You know, and to think that Issa Molde didn't even start this all Filipino conference, right? She's going in for Des Chang, and she's been player of the game already twice after the, you know, the injury uh -huh. of Des Chang. But I mean, Issa Molde really showing up in today's match. If there is a silver lining out of uh, that unfortunate circumstance, yep. 
it is really Lisa Mo there coming up and showing what she can do. And all of a sudden, it is a much stronger and deeper Choco Mucho, right? You know, I mentioned this in the pregame earlier. I've been teammates actually with also Ria Menezes, Bia General of Signal, and also in the Choco Mucho side with the Ateneo girls. But looking at their, their growth, I mean, and how they react to mistakes, it's not as heavy as before. They take it so lightly now. And that's a growth mindset that we talk about all the time. That's a great pancake by Cesc Molina, but it's still the blocking, and we love this. I mean, it is really Choco Mucho showing everybody how they are willing to just improve, even at the semifinals uh, level already. The blocking was number seven. Eh? Yes, I mean, but we've already seen like three points. All of their points have been on block. And that's a good reception from Cesc Molina. Molde, that was an overpass, and Rui Menezes took advantage of that. But so just losing her balance a bit as she was on the floor. She was there to get the coverage of Rui Menezes, but point goes to signal. Vanny Gandler also had a huge game the other night, her birthday. That's right. So she has had a huge conference altogether. Yes, sir. Playing like a veteran. Oh, wow. That is the weakness, the digging there that Catolentino is getting the better of. And Choco Mucho out now by two. Now, Chike, I want to talk about this specific play, the eighth play of the back row of Catalentino. This has been mastered in all the years in, the, of, in Ateneo. And that was a perfect set by Dina Wong, a little in front of the 10 foot line, allowing Kat to go for that broad jump. Cesc Molina stopped by Catalentino here. And Rondina, haven't heard from her yet. She's dug. She's in the front row now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> here we go. Oh, that's a good play there. A quick for Cherry Lunag. And Choco Mucho already up by three. And Franny Reyes has an early report. Thanks, Chicky. I actually spoke with Cece Rondina earlier before the game. I talked about her mindset, that never say die attitude that has helped fuel the Choco Mucho Flying Titans in their past games, especially the five setter against PLDT. And she told me personally, her motivation is every practice, she treats it like a game. Every game, she treats like a championship. She can't go into war without and with any doubts because she has, she knows that winning needs to be done with hard work. Those are things that she actually learned under Coach Kung Fu back in her USD days and things that she hopes to continue bringing to the Flying Titans in this semifinals. Now download the Filipinas Live app and get free seven-day premium access. Enjoy live and on-demand PBL along with highlights, updates, and original programs. Let's go back to the game. A lot of heart we're seeing, not only from the Signal HD Spikers, but also their uh, opponents here, Choco Mucho, just pounding down on Signal. So I have to give credit to Dino Wong for activating the middles early on in this match. And I mean, their assistant coach, jo Jesse Lopez, yeah. I mean, great mentors here on the coaching staff of Choco Mucho. Oh, good read there <laughs> by Dino Wong. <laughs> Jelka Yuna trying to pull a fast one. And this is a broken play. Cesc Molina will take it as she gets through the two-man block. Easy point for Cesc. Cesc Molina, the reigning MVP. She has really come into her own wow. in this conference. And you can see that she's being a leader by example, but also acting as that emotional leader. We see more emotion from her this conference. And yun naman din pala ang talagang uh, mindset niya, like we heard from Franny. And she has actually manifested that. And well, we yeah. see it, it, it even in her face. And that is the first of, I predict, might be a couple, a few service aces from Jelka Yuna, who no, we all know is dangerous yes. in the service line. Tally's 15 and now 16 service aces. I believe she had three the last game that she played. You can't yeah. neglect this serve of Jelka Yuna because it's very strong and right above the tape. Yeah. That's a good serve. So a chance here for Signal to score. John Gonzaga coming from the right pin. Very dangerous. This left handed Bionic Ilonga. So you see the blocking here of Chakamucha very late on the left pin here. Yuna not knowing where to go because Jelka Yuna is very deceiving in her setting.
That was a great set, actually. And Jill continues nice to serve. serve. Wow. And there's that ace. Second one already on her first time at the uh, service line. Jill serve much stronger than her usual right above the tape. That's also a Japanese style of serving. Chicky right above the tape. Mm. Very difficult to stop. And I guess you want to go right above the tape, and the danger there is it's just a little low. The accuracy is yep. yep. That was worth the risk. She got two service aces there. All tied at seven apiece now. We are in our first set. And we feel it. We feel the semifinals fever yep. here at the, the Phil's Park. Yep. I'm sure all of you are enjoying the action at home, wherever you are. With Job Gonzaga scoring again. That's two in a row for Job. See some hesitation in the defense here of the Chocomucho Flying Titans. Let's see that replay. No, lack of press also on the block. And the ball was actually still high. The hesitation of the defense by CC Rondina. Yes, sir. Dan Ponce is earning her keep here. And she is one of the more reliable ones, but Gonzaga is a son. And she seems to be the one who was on fire early in this first set. Dinek pa init. Pa init agad. That's right. It kind of looks like they're warm up early with no blocks. I mean, this is all starting with the hard serving of the Signal HG Spikers. Yeah. No receive here by the Titans so far. And Doria could taking care of that one. Nuna to stop. Molde also blocked by the HD Spikers. Oh, and that one is good. Down the line for Catalentino using her height. Right up above the blockers. Height in line by Catalentino. Block was not there. Let's see that block here. I think it's from Fanny Gander and Doria. Oh. Yep. Right through that. Nice. Great swing. Signal up by one. Gonzaga goes again. This time stopped. And Madi Madayag. Great pick up there by the libero. What a cut shot by Fanny Gander. So much precision. That's right. And the set was actually two out of the uh -huh. antenna, so she's actually forced to go for that sharp cross court. Issa was not ready to read that. Great swing by Vanny. Two point lead now for Signal. Nice serve. There's a better reception. And Molde will go up, and that's what happens when you have that perfect first pass. That's right, stable first ball by the Chocolate Flying Titans. Mariucci Hiyogo in the house. They are enjoying volleyball action in the PDL, <laughs> getting ready to uh, mix it up with the men's teams in the Spikers turf. They are the guests in this invitation. That will be exciting also. And Chocolate stir the score from the service line. They're going to call a challenge here on the serve of Kat Tolentino. The ref called it inside. Mm, we're see. not going to see that. Yeah. They cut it. Para suspense, di ba? Kasi meron ngang challenge. This is the first challenge we're seeing in the game so far. And right away, the coaches up on their feet and using this opportunity yes. to that's talk the, to the girls. That's the best part of having the challenge. It acts as a, another timeout. Mm -hmm. Because this time around, they only have one per set. Yes, mm -hmm. that's right. bago sa ating conference. And so this is a ball and ball out challenge on that serve by Kato Latino. <laughs> and we see the, the same old vibe from Coach Shaq. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. to pick up a little bit of what the girls are talking about but it's really a good opportunity for them to just take a breath yes that's right to relax a bit and regroup oh so close oh i don't even know what to call it we're already that's looking at it oh it's called inside because it was at the, uh, that's like a millimeter so from the oh very cold yeah i mean 
some would probably argue that it's out, but uh, the official call is it is inside. And so the point will stay with Choco Mucho, and that is an ace for Cato Letiro. You know, I think this is one of those things, Jamie, that if this game, this match goes down the wire, babalikan at babalikan yan. But for now, let's go back to the game. We're tied at 10 here. Gel, back set to Gonzaga. Good up there by Tan Ponce. Molde. Lina Glad ni Molde. And... And that is what Molde is known for. Yeah. Very deceiving approach here. I mean, going for that last minute top ball. Yeah. <laughs> so we have another challenge here. This time coming from the side of Choco Mucho. Calling on that four touch from that drop ball of Isa Molde. Yeah. Because they continue play. Yes. And yes. so Coach Dante just stopped play yep. and called for the challenge. That was also a beautiful dig by Tang Ponce from that down the line. So, you can see that it's adjusted in the yes. adjustment from Tang yes. Ponce. You had a hard time with Jelta Yuna and the other servers. Let's see. Ah. Did it touch the floor? It touched ah, the floor. So, Danny Gandler did not get her hand on that. It's not a bad thing. It's a save. And that was a successful challenge. And maniwala kayo, merong mga members ng coaching staff na talaga nakatingin lang sa mga linya, nakatingin yes. lang sa net. They have their own roles. Yeah. Ganun kahalaga ito mga laban na ito. So this error, that one outside. And so signal, get the ball and the point. Serving for signal, Jovelin Gonzaga. Jovelin Gonzaga has been hot so far in this first set. Chicky, we're only at the 11 all mark. <laughs> it's very close. And uh, runner from Madi Madayag who has mastered that really. Yes, her classic running attack, whether it's cross or down the line. I mean, look at that swing. If Vanny was a little bit more left of her left of the left antenna, she would have been able to get that. I love the confidence of Madi Madayag as well. Oh, Jelka Yuna, good read by Tang Ponce though. Back row attack. Chance here for Signal, no! Very crucial error here on the side of Signal. Missed Q here from Signal. And we are at our first technical timeout with Choco Mucho leading by two. Take a break. We'll be back after these. Mic check one. Welcome back to the BBL All Filipino Conference. Now I'm with the Maruichi Hyogo delegation here in the PBL. Konnichiwa, Watashiwa Fani, PBL Yokoso. This is Hinata san, the team captain. And I have to ask, how has the Philippines welcomed you so far? Uh, この身で感じてやっぱフィリピンの食事っていうのは日本とはちょっと違うんですけどフィリピンの食事は日本日本とは違ったまた良さがあってすごく好きになりましたカムトゥフィリピンフォーヒムフォーミーアイクノーダットメ
バレーボール選手のレベルの高さだったりとかこの観客のバレーボールの情熱っていうのがすごく伝わってきてフィリピン人の、えっと、バレーボール愛っていうのがすごく伝わりました。The level of women's volleyball is very high, and the fans have so much passion. And yeah, I feel that the Filipino loves the volleyball. Last question: Do you have a message for the Filipino volleyball fans? フィリピン人はすごくバレーボール好きっていうのがすごく伝わったのでその愛に負けないぐらい日本らしいバレーボールしたいと思いますので頑張ります。I felt the passion uh, from Filipino volleyball fans, so uh, I will play harder than Filipino fans. Arigato, Hinata san, and you can catch more of Hinata and his team as the Spikers Turf semi finals begins tomorrow. Let's return to the game. Arigato, Gosanos, Franny Reyes. Galing din mag Japanese ni Franny, but akala natin tayo lang ang nagpa fanboy and girl sa Japanese volleyball, pero sila rin pala ay bilip na bilip sa napapanood nila, which is uh, really great to see. In the meantime, the action continues here at the semi finals. This is set one of the first meeting of Signal and Chokumucho, and we are tied at 13 apiece. It's been tied the whole time. Yes, it's heated a heated battle, Chicky. That's right. We're going to side out game, and Cece Rondina scores her first point. She has, was silent in the first part of that first set. That's right. She has been silent, meaning the blocking of Signal is very stellar here. And also earlier, they had a difficult time in terms of the service received, so Dina had to go for those bump sets as well. Ball back to Chocomucho. They're up by one. Yes, Molina has stopped. Chance here for Andina to go up. And a great effort. This is going to be really Rondina now where she wants to be when she's in the front row. It's going to be a challenge for the blockers of Signal. You actually see Dina Wong waiting for Dina go to go for that approach, meaning she's actually fooling Rhea Menezes there with that block very late to the block on Andina. Those are the, the fine tweaking that I've seen from Dina Wong, ah. just not rushing her sets. Back row attack, and we have heard from Danny Gander herself that this is one of her favorite places to uh, attack from. I mean, look at that lethal weapon here. And it's from a back row attack, too strong for Castle and Dino. It's the Dona Yan, because you can use your all, you don't have to worry about running into the net. That's right, that's yeah. right. And to think Vanny was the, the rookie of these players that she's going up against here. They're like a veteran. And that one escapes Cherry Luna. But that was a very interesting way that um, that sequence started where Dina Wong just on reflex put her hand up. Big lang nandun na yung bola. Kala niya, katama sa net. That's right. Eventually, though, signal winning this point. And we're tied at 15 once again. Nice serve. Quality serves we're seeing from Signal HD. Rondina goes up one more time, and now with a better angle, targeting Vanny Gandler at the back. So that cross court attack, she saw that the ball, the Signal ball, was there. She was forced to go for that cross court attack. Vanny almost there for the defense. This is actually CC's third point. So far, so far. <laughs> a broken play here. CC will go up again. And you know, Lunag and uh, Pia and Alame are going to be challenged today. Especially because the specialty of CC Ramina is actually quite mm. Signal calls for time. Okay, so basta kaya kailangan yung mga ganun bola, nako, re-recover natin. Okay, yeah. Iwas na tayo doon na, okay? Boy, tuloy lang ha, okay? Sige, saga lang tayo. Pasa muna ulit, tapos atake tayo ng maganda. Sige, Rosin, kano lang. Ngayon. Ngayon.
get access to the second All-Filipino Conference at the Premier Volleyball League live and in HD on One Sports Plus, plus more premium channels for the whole family when you switch to Signal Postpaid. Subscribe to Plan 520 and enjoy three free months with no cash out. Call 88555 or visit your nearest Signal dealer. And Coach Shaq needing the call for time there. And you know that, that even if it's all even, or actually no, it's now Chakumucho with a two-point lead. <laughs> it seems like a big lead. Because it's eh. That's right. Solid movements between both squads. Very fluid movements. They know the patterns. They know the strengths and the weaknesses. That's already six for Catolentino. Rondina with four. Zamolde with three. And Madaya contributing two points. And Nunag as well. Over on the other side, you see Gandler, Molina, Gonzaga scoring, but none of the middles yes. have yet been activated. So that's probably what Signal needs to do. Exactly. Uh, and if they activate the middles more, that is making the Chocolate block more. Ah. Meaning the, the offensive single, if it's only to the open, the left and right pin, uh, pin it's going to be too predictable for the offense. They have to work doubly hard on defense, talking about the middle blockers. So, but that's what you are uh, up against when right. it's Choco Mucho. See that kill block here from Sunag. She made up from that defense error earlier. Yeah. Oh, and that's a great play there by Jill Kayuna. Just the ball sense, just knowing exactly when to jump. That's right, the timing of that block is very crucial. But no coverage on the side of Choco Mucho. But this is a big lead for Choco. Biggest we've seen. Four point advantage. They need to maintain this because when Signal has the hot hands, it's yeah. also difficult for them to get that run. And this is not good news for Choco Mucho, Jill Kayuna at the service area, but that will change right away. Gloria could not keep that ball in play, and Choco Mucho will now enjoy five-point advantage at this point with CZ Rondina at the first. And then last time when Jelko you know, was serving, they had difficulties, but she targeted Issa Mold and they immediately got that side out. He said. Gonzaga has stopped this time around. Rondina flying from back row. Gonzaga again with the wind up. Good coverage by the blockers. Molde and Nunag really doing their job. Oh, what an effort there. But Catalinino couldn't get that third ball to cross over the net. See that collaborative effort here on the side of the Chocomucho Flying Titans. But let's talk about the reigning MVP here. Powering through that block of Chocomucho. Smart play. You got to go to the vet right in those key moments. Nice serve. Catalentino, that's blocked it outside. So Kat is able to counter those blocks that uh, will be in her face each time. She knows how to hit off the hands. And she also has the height as well, so she can see that block and adjust her the hand. The height and the smarts, no? Yep. Yeah. And Reg Arocha coming in for the first time here at the serve. Chocomucho looking for only three points to win this first set. Rosdoria caught by Arocha. Rondina! And that's outside, untouched by Signal. But, of course, we have a challenge here. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a chance again for a huddle. The score is a 22-17, so this is a quite a dangerous time for Signal. They're very sure of that back row attack by CC Rondina. Definitely oh! side, yes. <laughs> Cece's happy about that. <laughs> She's jumping up and down. Uh, you know, that's really, that's so cute to see. I mean, CC yes. scores in the double digits all the time, but she still celebrates every point that yes. she gets. <laughs> I think that's my first time seeing her celebrate yeah. like that. <laughs> and nasilip na natin si Coach Dante is all business. 
I mean, no smiles. No smiles. That was a successful challenge, but the job is not over. Yeah. And it's going to take much more for Gonzaga and the rest of Sigma because Choco Mucho has figured out how to improve their blocks. Maddie Madeyak started off with the block and she's timing it perfectly on Jovelin Gonzaga. When Maddie's in the front row, you really have to outsmart her, yeah. right? She's very good in blocking here. Could go for an off speed attack, for a tip. And this is set point. Gonzaga will get the set. There's a chance. Dina Wong pushing it to Molde with that dink. Kayuna read that one. Vanny Gandler. That was tough. And kudos to Vanny because that set, the underhanded set coming from the back. Not easy attacking from a bump set. But you saw Vanny Gather being aggressive at the net. I mean, her blockers are Mari Madeag and Catalentino. The twin towers here in Chocolate Bay. So, signal still alive, but it still is set point. Many of them for Choco Mucho. Just pressure serves here for Rose Doria. Dina looking for Maddie. Good dig by Signal. Oh, wasted effort there. And that is a point given by Signal. Practically to Choco Mucho for a opening set win. It became easier towards the end. Yes, we see polished movements from the Choco Mucho flying Titans. Really a mature play here. But let's see how this will unfold in the second set. Yeah, we will talk about that and more after the break. New streaming experiences also await via the Filipinas Live app, available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for 149 pesos. 2518 is how that first set went. If you are just joining us now, it was a very different opening set up until the midpoint where Choco Mucho just started to streak and uh, they didn't look back. That's right. They started getting their run when the score was at 13. Great production by Dina Wong setting the middles, but she also activated them early on in the match, which was pulling the blocking of the Signal HE Spikers. But I want to commend the blocking as well by Mari Madeyag. She had at least two blocks in this first set, but let's see how this will unfold. The Signal HE Spikers have been in situations like this before, so it's really a test of um, their skill, but it also goes beyond skill. Who wants it more at the end? I think both teams really want it. And if we look back at our uh, opener where Franny was telling us how their first meeting, we'll talk about that after we talk about the numbers here. Take a look at the blocks here. Five on the side of Choco Mucho, Flying Titans. The attacks are almost the same, but what is not shown on your screens, and I always say this is the timing of the blocks, the timing of those airs that can possibly halt your momentum or even elevate it. Mm. And really the story there is the blocks. We started off by saying that the blocking is Choco Mucho's weakest point if there is such a thing and they have all Seven. proven us wrong. Seven, yes, that's what the numbers say. But what they did is they worked on their weakness yes. and they showed how they are a continuously growing team. And here they are with five block points in that first set. And go ahead. Now in set number one, there's a from the Sigma HG Spikers, they're at a 35.71% attacking. 
and on the side of Chocomucho, 42.5%, which we saw earlier in the stats. And you're right, Chick, you have to talk about what you said. It's their weaker point, the blocking. But, you know, they have really settled in the system of Coach Dante. Yeah. You know, they're more comfortable. And you could see that their movements are, in terms of when they make a mistake, it's not as heavy as before. When I was on the team, we would have a difficult time getting that side out right away. But now it's light, it's effortless, very different. They can shake it off right away. Denny Franny naman tungkol sa CH, sa CHD, sa Signal HD Spiker. Si Coach Shan really uh, had a lot to learn from the first time they faced off. Talking about the first uh, game between Signal and Chocomucho where Signal uh, lost in three straight. Right. And sabi niya from then on, he knew that he needed to shake things up, worked on gel, worked on their plays, and that is why they are here today with an eight uh, and three um, record. So we're expecting also to see some more adjustments, aren't we? Yes, from this point on. And also to add to that, Chick, sometimes losing a game uh, is a blessing for your team because that is a wake up call. I mean, if you're, if they had won that match, maybe Coach Hack would have thought, oh, you know, let's just stick to the game plan. But he knew he had to elevate it even more. Yeah. That game went down 25-21, 25-19, 25-18. First time they met. So Coach Shaq is probably looking at that first set, saying we don't want a repeat of that first meeting. That's right. The yeah, screen here, Jovelin Gonzaga. Steady performance so far. CC Rondina. I mean, usually the target of Jovelin Gonzaga in this first set is in zone six. So to me, those in-game adjustments here for control. And that is uh, another good ball. So that's another point for Signal. Six already for, uh, five rather for Molina. Six for Gonzaga, five for Gandler. But still, Jamie, nothing from the middle blockers. That's right, we need more production of the middle blockers because the offense could be too predictable for the Chocomucho Flying Titans. We're seeing good coverage. The team also was struggling with their digging and receiving. That's Signal. And they're doing much better in that department, it seems. Ponce is setting up Kat. Oh, and Kat just knows how to go for that quarter pocket pair of that set by Dan Ponce. Brady Reyes has a report for us. Vanny Gangler is facing the seniors who brought her to her first semi-finals experience in the UEAP, but now they're against each other on this court, and she's more than happy and excited to be going up against him. And she said that it's very important not to discredit this Choco Mucho team. That's something that, you know, they kept in mind since their eliminations game. And it's very important that they stick to the game plan. Now, the HD Spikers weren't able to do many blocks in that first set. And they also, told, they also know that they tend to have slow starts, all things that cannot happen against a fired-up Flying Titan in the semifinals. These are things that they've addressed in the huddle earlier, and they're looking to move forward and forget what just happened. Download the Filipinas Live app and get free 7-day premium access. Enjoy live and on-demand PVL along with highlights, updates, and original programs as we go to the challenge of the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. Thanks so much, Franny. And you just reminded us that this is also a showdown between two stellar coaches. That's right. <laughs> How can uh, we forget? <laughs> right, right. Both of them uh, tacticians, yes. both of them with so much uh, experience behind them and a lot of championship experience as well. So, ito yung mga bagay na titignan natin how they are going to adjust as the game goes along. And we got a little bit of a glimpse of what Coach Shaq has in mind and what he needs to do with Signal. Yeah, more aggression, just to try to dictate the pace also. That's right. I mean, when you look at both squads as well, they've both really settled down in the system of their coaches, and you could see it in their play. Very fluid movement, but you have a block touch challenge here. There was a B-click attack given to Doria, and the refs called there was a block touch on the Chakamucha Flying Titans. And this is an early challenge. We are just in the beginnings of this second frame. For those of you just joining us now, this is already the second game. Let's see. No it looks like, touch. yeah, looks clean. No quivering fingers. Unless that, okay. <laughs> no block touch. I always say this. Now we'll, it will reveal the best actress as well. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know, best actors goes to Signal here. Yeah. They win that award <laughs> for this particular yeah. sequence. <laughs> and we're tied at three once again. Oh, that was inside. Talk but it was so sneaky yep. and crazy. Talk about court awareness here. That was definitely inside. Rare air by the Fed Liber here, Nuna. But look at the way it dropped. Yes. Oh, yes. wow. And that's just uh, skills there from Cato Lentino. This time a better reception. Good stop by the blockers of Choco. Cayuna, back set, Gonzaga, and we have a whistle. Net touch by Cayuna. <laughs> right idea, though, for yeah. going for that reverse set. So these are the unforced errors that really need to be minimized for the signal issue spikers here. And we saw the reaction of Isa Molde because that was a solid yep. solo block <laughs> for her. Pumito Muna, eh, ating second referee. Gandler continues to do damage here. She now has six, tied with John Gonzaga. So we got a steady performance so far of by Vanny Gandler, really pulling the block of Chocomucho. Good serve. That's a good first pass by Ponce. And Daddy Gander was there, but Daddy Bandaya knew to hit it off her uh, elbows. That's right. Just a lack of stress in that rally by Danny Gander. See Dina Wong really utilizing the middle blockers here in this entire match. That was a good play because di talaga na iwan talaga yung middle. So it was just Danny Gander all alone and Gonzaga just with an exclamation point. And she means business. The, saga, the, the veterans here in the entire uh, pool. What an attack. Grabe, <laughs> no? And yun yun, I, I say veteran, and that means she's one of the older players yes, here, yes. but then... But more experienced. Yes, right? and I mean, the power and uh, the trajectory on her attack. How about that? Okay, that one too. Okay. <laughs> Rondina with seven now. Her first for the second set. Share of fans here. Oh yes, the Choco mucho appreciating the presence of CC and just what she brought into this team and how she was able to just really enhance what Choco mucho already has. Oh, there you go. As we talk about CC, I think this is where her beach volley moves come into play. I mean, the elevation of her approach, and you see that she. Looked at the court as well to see the hole, but Yunag not there going for that off-speed attack. So measured, saktong sak measured. Eh. Yep, that's the word. Oh, wow! Service ace with the help of the net there from Madi Madayag. And Choco Mucha slowly pulling away here again early in the second set. You also see more consistency on their side as well. No first ball as well from the signal issue spikers. That's why there's a lack of middle set attacks as well. Because usually if the receiver's off, it's a given that it'll go to the left or right ah. pin. Well, we talked about that. Number eight in receiving, number 10 in digging for signal HD. So that is their weakness. And Chokomucha knows to take advantage of that. But Chai Trocoso right off the bench. That's right, instant impact. By Trocoso going for that cross court attack. You see that she's avoiding the hands of the blockers here of Nunag. Maybe this could be that spark plug that they need something to wake them up a bit in the second set. And it has been uh, actually just a, a recent uh, run here for Choco. I mean, they had been even up until the sixth point. Back row attack for Chai. Another chance here. Dina Wong wants Cherry Nuna to get on the score sheet again. And she already has six. Actually, this is her second point in the second set. Dina's sets have been very deceiving. She's been going to the left and right pin, but timing it perfectly and fooling the block. Rhea Menezes here is in the front row, really fooling her. Her set. 
can't, you can't yeah. call a challenge on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Very <laughs> evident. <laughs> Even Meryl Streep, <laughs> best actress cannot pull that off. Limpa Santos na lang, nandito tayo sa Pilipinas. <laughs> and Signal in a better position now. Well, actually, still a three-point deficit. Oh, good pass. Rondina will get it. Ball right back to Rondina. And Cesc Molina ends that sequence. Cesc Molina, I keep saying this the reigning MVP here in the PBL. Call her the silent killer here. I mean, take a look at that swing. Beautiful set by Jelka Yuna in between that block. You see that gap between the block of Chacomucho. And through the Tulan block again. She has been so successful from the right pin. And you know that is where she is most dangerous, Catalentino. Let's see that replay again. Cat Catalentino, we, we, we know this connection already between Dina Wong and Catalentino, but Cat means business now. You know, she wants to when you can feel her passion in this match. And a chance here again. Dina pushing it out to Molde this time. This is going to be a free ball for Chocomucho. They get the setup again. What will Dina Wong do now? Jerry Nunag, nahabol ni Jelka Yuna. Isa pa nga. A little too low, yep. Yeah. A little too low from that set. Hindi lumang pasyon. That did not go past the net. And we have a block touch challenge from Chocomucho, who is uh, still up by two. And the points here are very hard to get. You really have to earn your points yeah. here. The, the challenges, the coaches, as we see, have been utilizing the challenge system. Yes, I mean, every point counts, uh -huh. every game matters here. Again, looking back at the last time these two teams faced off, it was a, a sweep by Choco Mucho, 25-21, 25-19, and 25-18. And Signal learned a lot from that last encounter. According to Coach Shaq, that yep. is what propelled them to play yeah. better uh, throughout the first round. It was a long first round, actually. That's right, and those are the learning curves that actually have to happen. You know, the growing pains that have to happen in your team. And normally after those breakouts, you know, you are able to rise above that. So let's see if Signal can pull it off today. There's somebody at the net. So it actually counts, though, if it hits the tape and then the hand. But from the looks of this, it did not hit the hand. So that is an unsuccessful challenge called by the Chocomucho Flying Titans. Whether it's successful or unsuccessful, it's the same <laughs> poker face. You cannot read Coach Dante. He's the best actor here. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> right, right, you got that one. Jelka Yuna, this is scary for Chocomucho when yes. Jel is serving. Oh, perfect oh, receive. Yeah. Oi! Na salvage pa rin ang Choco Mucho. Cesc Molina there, going up! And this is gonna be a freebie. Recycled here, and it is Catalentino stopped oh. by Signal. Another chance, where would Dina go now? Back set again to Kat. Gonzaga is setting up Cesc Molina, that was tough. Everybody on the ball here. Good defense from both sides of the court. Great stop there by Nunag. Oh, wow. And that was Bia General, uh, rather. That was uh, one heck of a rally. Catching her breath here <laughs> after that rally. I mean, beautiful exchanges between both squads. Really reading their opponent. Actually, maraming nabitin dun eh. Maraming mga soft uh, Miss, touches. Miss, yes. Yeah. Mga mistimed hits from mostly from Cherry Nunag and Choco Mucho, pero the way they were able to keep the ball in play, yes. ayaw magpapatay ng bola itong dalawang kupuna na to. That's right. And also between Nunag and Dina Wong here, this set was a little too high for Nunag, but luckily with her hang time and her height, yeah, she was able to just push it over through that. So Jell goes for another serve and signal closing in on Choco Mucho, just a one-point deficit for the HD Spikers. Oh, and that, we're talking about how she likes to just snip the net, but the danger is getting it too low. That's her second serve here in this entire match. The good side of going for that heavy serve is 
have to be consistent, but the accuracy there, you're really taking that risk of serving tough. Two service aces so far, though, for Jelka Yuna. Back set, looking for yep. Cesc Molina on the right side now. Especially in that rotation, you see Jelka Yuna really utilizing the veteran here of Cesc Molina. I said this earlier, when Signal needs that side out, you gotta go to the vets. They've been, they have that mentality of, you know, been there, done that yeah. type of feel, so they know how to play this game. They've been here before. Molde going up, and she gets it off the hands again, makes up for that uh, block earlier. Lisa Molde has been very effective for Choco Puncho, and they are at 13 points first in our first technical event. We'll be back. Download Filipinas Live and get free seven-day premium access. Enjoy the NBA, PBA, UAAP, and the PBL along with highlights, updates, and original programs. Back at the Phil Sports Arena, good crowd here on this Thursday night, the first night for the semifinals of our second All-Filipino conference here at the PBL. And if you are just joining us now, you miss a lot of action. Uh, first game went the way of Creamline taking Cherry Tigo in three straight sets. And so far, we have Choco Mucho leading one set to none. This is only our second set. And chance for the crowd here at the Phil Sports to catch their breath, relax a little bit, because it's been a lot of screaming. Yes. And <laughs> yeah. It's a different um, feel, I guess, for this second set, because we... No, actually, I take that back. It was it was this way in the first set also. It's just that Chocobucho around this time started to pull away, so Signal has to be careful of that. That's right. I'm seeing the, you know, the energy here, the vibe of Signal. They're having a difficult time actually gaining that momentum. They can't seem to catch a break here in this match, but they are doing the right thing. Everything is going their way, but I think a little bit more set to the middle. You know, we've been talking about this. Just to switch up the offense a bit here in this match. Ah. Still nothing from Riri Meneses, who usually is able to contribute. Yes, yes. He serves. And Doria as well. We're still waiting to hear from her. And again, these, uh, as it hits, all kinds of touches from Cici Rondina. Ball back to Choco Mucho. And that... Running attack, this time foiled by Signal. Rainbow. The blocking for Signal HD. Oh, Molde almost, but no dice. Again, these <laughs> rallies. Molde again goes up, and that is off the hands yes. of <laughs> Joe Gonzaga. Molde is a pesky and persistent. And also crafty as well, not too flashy of his open spiker here. Very simple play, just touching the hands of Rhea Menezes. She went for the drop ball. Very smart player, yeah. switching it up. And you gotta give it to Dina Wong at yung tiwala niya kay Isa Molde kasi yes. pinabalik yung bola <laughs> sa kanya. No? Yes. Nadi Matayag again with the running attack. And you know that Dina wanted to give her another chance at it. But that one still outside. We can be sure she's going to get another go at some point. Point deficit. Signal still looking to lead here in the second set. 
They did maybe a little bit early in this uh, the opening of this second set. Rondina going up, ball goes down at the baseline, and that is intentional. Believe it. Especially when CC Rondina is in the front row, do expect Dina to constantly feed her the ball, meaning the blocking needs to be stabilized and synchronized on the side of the uh, signal. See, they're having a difficult time. Jelka Yuna, I think Dina's really maximizing her blocker here on the other side. And you see that Chai Kokoso also had the same idea to go deep. Pinapa habanya yung kanyang mga palo, and we have a, another challenge, a net touch challenge from the Choco uh, bench. Is there time for that? Sometimes we also have to consider when they call for the challenge. But there's right. a time limit. You can't wait it. too long, yeah. but it is given. So net fault. And I think the assistant coaches here, I was trying to eavesdrop in their conversation. I think maybe the jersey of one of the signal players touched the net here. Or it could also be a strategic move, halting the momentum of signal. That's also another reason why coaches go for that challenge. That is true. You're talking about how signal has had a difficulty getting points in succession, but they have done that in the last couple of sequences. Let's see if there is a net touch. Well, it's actually <laughs> on, Dina. on Dina. Yeah, because we did see the net quiver. I, is, is there going to be a counter challenge? Is that... And uh, successful challenge. Okay, we are. I mean, you all at home uh, saw the the video playback also, yes. and nakita naman natin na gumalaw nga yung net pero mukang the jersey ni Dina Wong yung nagpagalaw. Yes, but we have yet to see what the final verdict will be. Referee Herbert Matematico and Ryan Vincent Corpus. Coach Shaq also trying to gain some clarity here. Pati tayo medyo nalilito. So who will get the ball? It was a Chocomucho. 16-13. So again, these uh, challenges, there was another controversial one early <laughs> where uh, there was a serve by Catolentino that was uh, given to them. Remember that yes, right at early. the start? Yep. And then there's this uh, very uh, obscure video challenge. But we'll leave that alone and we'll get back to the game. And this time, Chai Troncoso will get the point. Exact same play. Going for the check ball here, Troncoso. She's in for Vanny Gandler. She had instant impact earlier and got a point right away. But we need more production here from the middle blockers. Absolutely. Doria, Ria Menezes. We haven't seen a lot of sets given to them in this match. Oh, that's a good serve. Rondina will go up. Soft touch there. And another violation. Somebody overreaching. And it's going to be called against Cherry Hunak. So that is a point for signal. Let's see that one more time. Yeah, let's see that replay here. Hmm. Okay. No challenges there. I don't know that was called overreaching, but again, uh, a little bit questionable. Back to the game here. Kayuna, Riri Menes has dug by Ponce. Still no points from the middle blockers of signal. Uh, they are busy challenging the likes of Catolentino and Isa Molde. Definitely these attackers from Chocomucho challenging the middle blockers of Signal. Signal is currently number four in blocking. I mean, do expect Dina Wong to also set Catolentino more in that back row attack. Oh, that's a beautiful set there. Yep. By Jel Cayuna. Combination play here. Maybe that's what Jal Tayuna needs to run more of. Combination plays yeah. in the first attack just to fool the blocking here of the Flying Titans. 
and we know what both Rose Doria and Riri Meneses can do. And yes. You know, they are uh, very reliable. They have had their share of uh, player of game honors because they can score. Rondina. Wow. We know she can score. And she <laughs> is already in double digits. That's 10 for Rondina. Joining Kat Tolentino, who already has 11. She leads all scorers. Talking about Kat. Talk about firepower coming from CC Rondina. And to think Cesc Molina was already there to get it, but I just, the power of CC, CC Rondina, too much impact on Cesc Molina. That was a tough one. Angelica Yuna managed to keep that one in play. Another chance here. Broken play. And that was a setup by Tolentino yes. for Cayuna. Cayuna wants to be on the attacking board here. Yeah, she wants a, a stacking stats too. She's already scored actually from her service aces. And we know that Jel Cayuna is one of those aggressive setters. Okay, now Jel Cayuna is in the back row now. She's up to serve. Do you expect a hard serve from her? Oh, yeah. There you go, and that is care of that perfect uh, serve there by Cayuna. Nahirapan si Tang Ponce with that uh, overpass. We saw this earlier in the first set. Two aces from the Chocomucho Flying Titans. Finally, a point here for the middle blocker, <laughs> Rose yes. Doria. And not from a set. <laughs> Back set to Kat. And that one works. Off the block there, getting past the two man block. You signal having a difficult time to block in this second set here. But definitely much closer. Around this time in the first set, Mejo nagpaiwa na ang signal, but they are right in it this time around. And when Reg Arocha came in in the first set, she was also able to string along a couple of points. She stayed on till the end of the, the set there. And John Gonzaga coming from the left-hand side. That's pretty sneaky. We know that she likes the right pin being a lefty, but she'll strike from anywhere. But because she's left-handed, also tricky. She has more variation here. She can go cross-court attack or down the line. Very crafty opposite spiker. Nine for Gonzaga. Molina also has nine. Gandler, who is uh, sitting out the second set, or she... She already has six points, too. And look at Signal HD. They finally take the lead the first time. See the timely block here on the Signal HD spikers. Now, this is what they need, right? This is what will wake them up in this second set. They need that momentum here. Yeah. Chai Koso seems to be the magic moonot, as we often talk about. These uh, decisions by the coaches. Is that inside? Side corner pocket by oh. Kat Tolentino. She likes to go deep where nobody is. It's also very difficult to play defense, especially in that zone one. Very deep corner pocket. You really have to be able to read that. And in, in those rallies, it's the blocking tricky that needs to get those. All right, Dina Wong setting up Isa Molde. That angle, it's just wow. a little too long, pero ang ganda nung approach ni Isa Molde doon. The elevation, a yeah. little overcooked in that rally, but she did have the right idea for going for, in going for that shot cross shot. Yep. Yeah. But that is a point for Signal, a lucky break for them, and they keep that one-point lead. Rostoria with a serve. Good pass by Ponce. Madayag! With a running attack. And you know, Sess was right there. Yes. Dina Wong really utilizing Mari Madayag, especially when she's in the front row, because Troncoso is blocking. So Dina is looking at her blockers, looking at her opponents, and really trying to find the key, the tool to win the second set. Uh, that was just too fast. The blockers could not keep up with that runner. Madayag from the middle this time, and signal! Wow. What an effort by this HD Spikers. Madayag again with a slide. This time, Jelko Yuna foils it. Gonzaga is blocked! Chai Troncoso with a soft one, off speed. Rondina, full speed but blocked. 
And she goes again. <laughs> a chance here for HD to set up. Gonzaga! And that falls on the side of single HD. What an effort by both squads here, Jamie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hinga, Hinga, Hinga. Yes. Beautiful exchanges between both squads here. Everything going in the way of the Chakamucha Flying Titans. Perfect blocking, synchronized blocking by CC Rondina. We have a timeout. The first ever NBA in season tournament is here. Watch all 30 teams battle it out for the NBA Cup from November 4 to December 9, only on NBA TV Philippines. One Sports and Filipino Live. Hashtag NBA on Signal. Hashtag always a fan. And we welcome you back. For those of you who are just joining us now here at the Phil Sports Arena, it has been a hot second set. A very close one. Chokomucho now with a one point lead, taking it away from Signal, but Chaitro also gets it right back. And. Uh, Coach Shaq definitely liking what he's seeing, how things have picked up on his side of the court. That's right, I mean, the score is now 22 all. This is the momentum that Coach Shaq has been wanting from the squad. Now we see a double substitution here. Uh, interesting. Chin Basas. Very risky. Yeah. Double substitution, especially because this is the first time they're seeing the court, but maybe he wants the style of Giselle C uh -huh. here. Chin Basas coming in here at the front row. Let's see, just LC pushing it out to Chai, and that one is outside. We don't want to second guess Coach Shaq, but you wonder. Oh, we have a challenge, of course. <laughs> yeah, it's a crucial time. But we will not second guess, but I will ask you, while we have time to think about what the substitution might have been about. Because, um, Jel Kayuna was doing well. That's right. Sometimes coaches have the idea that putting the double substitution can somehow switch the offense here. And you can't really mimic the same style because Jel Kayuna has a different setting style as Giselle C. Yeah. So maybe this is what he believes will close out the second set. A lot of pressure on those two players, though. There you go. and Giselle C. Because we are at the cusp of the the end uh, of this second set, the black touch bar, Malayu. And Coach Shaq, I think he was just really uh, trying to slow things down. I think he knew that there was no touch there. Chocomucho with that one with a one point lead, but it has been a side out game yes. all throughout yep. the second set. He serve. Let's see what Giselle C does. Push it out to Chin Basas, and she goes deep. Maybe it's that. Yes. I have to talk about Basas here. Very crafty spiker. Really avoiding the blocking, as you saw in the sequence here. Going for that long ball attack. Finding the hole of the defense yeah. here of Chakamucho. Maybe that is why he put that And in. you know, she sat out the game before this, so she was not scouted. Yes. That might be it. She is the most mysterious one on the court now. That's right. And Gandler back on the court. She was uh, taken out midway into the in the first set. She has six points so far. Vadi Gandler with a serve. And it's a good first ball by Isa Molde Rondina. Looking for that same corner. Tip for that and CC. High leap, high elevation. Yeah. Over the block of the signal HG spikers. And basically just mimicking that play, the same attack that uh, <laughs> that Chin Basas dealt them. Set point for Chocomucho. Giselle C. Looking for Chin again. A little too low. 
CC wants to end it. Not quite yet. Giselle C going to Cesc Molina. Buhay pa rin ang bola. Back set. Ah, oh, Maddy Gander with an error on the attack. Back row attack. It's difficult to execute. Choco Mucho again will benefit from that mistake. And they win the second set. Much harder, though, this time around. They're much closer, 25-23. Jamie, you and I will talk about this after the break. Watching the semi-finals of the PVL All-Filipino Conference where the Flying Titans are leading 2-9 against the Signal HD Spikers. And speaking of the Signal HD Spikers, Vanny Gandler recently celebrated her birthday. She got a special birthday greeting from her teammate, veteran Jovelin Gonzaga, with special appearances from Angela Nunag and Vanny herself. Though it was her birthday. Vanny told me that it was all business since they had a game and she wouldn't actually tell me her birthday wish since she wants to make sure that it comes true. Back to you, Chicky and Jamie. Happy birthday to Vanny Gambler. I'm sure it's been a really good birthday week for her. She also played uh, the day of her birthday, which is two right. days ago. She had a game and they won that one in three sets. 25-23, uh, that is how the second set went down. A lot more tension, a lot more action, so many long rallies. So a heated battle between both squads here in the second set. You see better production by the Signal HD Spikers, Cesc Molina Dagger on your screen, and Jovelin Gonzaga, meaning that the setting of Jalta Yuna has been more consistent, not as predictable, but on the side of the Chocomucha Flying Titans, they're able to get that quick side out right away. And because of that, the score was 23-25 in yeah. the second set. Actually, we saw the Signal HD walking out of the court. They're very frustrated because that could have been anybody's game, actually, that second set. And it could have been theirs, but Chocomucho got the better of them. And again, really a, a food for thought, the substitution at the end there by Coach Shaq. I'm sure all of you uh, volleyball fans have uh, some thoughts about that, but 
It is what it is, and here we are with Choco Mucho uh, up by two sets. See a almost even match here in the second set. 15 attacks by Signal and 16 on the side of Choco Mucho. But you see two aces on the side of Choco Mucho. But in terms of errors, almost the same, six and six. But when it came to crunch time, the Choco Mucho fighting Titans were able to go down the wire and win that. And we also saw the domination of Choco Mucho or why they were able to win that first set easier. Because they really activated the blockers. Nila, yeah. diba? They That's scored right. five on the block in the first set. And they were a little quieter this time around. Or well, no, maybe the spikers of Signal were actually better at um, avoiding the blockers this time around. The, just the in-game adjustments that yes. we saw from Signal HD, quite impressive. Danny Gamble here, she had a bit of rest in the second set. And we start off with Gel at the serve. Two aces already for Gel Kayuna. And she has four points total. Good up by Gandler. Cece Rodina with that dig. Can we start off with a rally? An SS. And somebody was. At the net, that touch here by the Chocolate Bank Titans. So we get the first point for Signal, courtesy of a violation of Choco Mucho. Ari Adayag touched the net as she was going down to block. Oh, that one sailed outside. Good call there by Tan Ponce to let it go. We did talk about this earlier, Chicky, in terms of accuracy, especially if you want to serve tough. So you really want to take this here. And we want to talk more about Tang Ponce, who is up there in terms of uh, receiving and digging. She has really Sir. done the job. She's really, yep, she's really stabilized the first ball here of Chalko Mucho, and also in terms of defense as well. Tang Ponce is number two in digging behind uh, Kat Arado. As we take a look at another rally here, what a save! And Signal will set up Gandler. This time Gonzaga from the right pin. Good defense by Cece. Off speed, General knew it. And Gonzaga with all her might, how do you stop that? Through the block. Yes. <laughs> Through the block of the Chocomucha Flying Titans. When you want to get that side out, you notice Jelka Yuna really leaning to the vets here of her squad, but no close in that block. There is a small space, a small gap of the block of Choco Mucho. And I think, Jamie, that's when we see when they speed things up so that E1, um, yung blockers that Choco Mucho nakakaputo sila. Again, that running attack this time foiled by Jel. Molina goes up and she goes cross court too. Cut shot. Definitely inside. Let's bring back Franny Reyes with her report. Sabi ni Boss Dina Wong sa akin, babawe sila and they will regain what they lost. Especially now that they're facing the Signal HD spikers. They've come so far and they can only keep giving their best if they want to keep going farther. And she also talked about maturity with me, which was something that she really credited her coaches. The coaches have taken the time to really build their confidence, not so much on the skills anymore, but making sure that they're confident and mature that they can play the system when they're on the court. If the Chocomucho Flying Titans want to end this in a decisive three sets, we can expect more ball distribution from Dino Wong to fool the blockers of the Signal HD Spikers. Now download the Filipinas Live app and get free 7-day premium access. Enjoy live and on-demand PBL along with highlights, updates, and original programs. Back to you, Chicky and Jamie. Thanks so much, Franny. You reminded us that actually, Medyo talagang gigil na ang Choco Mucho yes. to get on the podium here That's because right. it's been a while since they got to the Final Four. Uh, over a year. I think yes. the last time was in a 2022. Yeah, the first conference. Of Open conference. Years. Yeah. So that's what Dina was talking about, just getting back on the podium. And they are certainly on their way. I mean, they have never looked, they have not looked this good. It's been a while. I see more maturity. I said this in the pregame earlier. They were my teammates back in 2020 during the pandemic. And you see more polished movements. And you can see that really, they're really zoned in. 
you think it's a contribution of this girl, Cece Rondina, as well, and what she brings in? Definitely, and more consistency as well from Dina Wong as well. And we know that was intentional, so was that actually, that down the line by Cece, but going back to Dina, we know that they have really worked on her and on her setting, trying to get her to shake off what she knew from her past teams and to really work within the system of Coach Dante, which I, from what I understand, she was resistant to a little bit in the beginning, but then she decided, or they managed to get her to, I guess, do a 180 and That's see right. things differently, and it has worked so well for her. She says Molina going to, for that down the line. The whole of the defense of the Chocolate Ninja Flying Titans. Do you expect the Signal HU Spikers to really show up in this third set? I mean, they're down two sets to none. Yeah. Early lead here for Signal. Good stop there by Job and Cesc Molina going up again. Stop this time by Kat. A soft one. Good read by Ostoria. Oh, look at that. That was uh, so frustrating for Cesc Molina because she thought she had that cut shot, but Nunak. not off my watch, said Cherry Nunak. Perfect yeah. timing. Perfect press on that block by Cherry Nunak, silencing Cesc Molina in that rally. Molina will go again. And Cherry Nunak tried to keep the ball in play, couldn't do it, so Signal will score. Still a two-point lead for Signal. Again, this is a must-win third set for the HD Spikers. And we know they have it in them. We've seen them go from, uh, oh, well, they have an 8-3 record. They started a little slow in this conference, but they picked up and they had not looked back since. They had a consistent and uh, wounds that have come one after another, but it's very good error. And if we look at what has really been the difference here in Signal, in spite of the absence of uh, Rachel Adakis, who is, you know, the heart of Signal, Job Gonzaga really has uh, contributed a lot too. And this girl, Danny Gandler. And to think that Danny Gandler had glimpses of playing time here in the Invitational Conference, and now being first six, take a look at that swing. No block by Cherry Nunak. Just a, you know, cool. Cherry Nunak here in that rally. Doria with one point so far. And Catalentino is blocked by Meneses. Molde going through the two-man block. Oh! Just a little bit of confusion there, because Rose Doria actually got to the ball. Kudos to her. I mean, the middle blocker going for those dives. Pero nakagulo. You see that replay here. And Delta Yuna is in the front row, so she's actually coming from the block, rocking. So she was very far to get that second contact. And that goes the way of Signal. Or rather, Choco Mucho. Signal still with a one-point lead. Meneses finally on the scoreboard. And I think it's going to take that and so much more of that if Signal wants to take this third set. I believe that's the first running attack here. Successful running attack by Rhea Menezes. Some emotion out of her. Yeah. She wants to win this match. Yes. And you know, with her height and her athleticism, yes. she can really dominate at the net, both defensively and offensively. And Dina from back row. Jelka Yuna going for Menezes. Nabantayan, Nika Tolentino. Oh, Cece with her defense. Jel pushing it back. To Job Gonzaga. All day again! She is so deceptive! You think she's going full speed, going all out last minute. She switches up with that tip. Oh, just beautifully played. And also her opponents Ooh. are still going in transition to play defense. You see Vanny in the cross court. You see Jelka Yuna going down the line. That's actually your first line of defense here. So you have to really read the hand of your opponent, but I mean... But she was so deceptive. Yes. Morgan with eight points already. And Vanny Gandler doing a row here. Good come back from Vanny. Beautiful reverse set by Del Sevilla. Vanny Gandler avoiding the hands of Mad Maddie Madayag.
And this uh, Athenian playing against the predominantly Ateneo team, so she also knows a lot of these players, a lot of her ates. Yes, Molina. Ball slowed down there a little bit by Choco. Isa Modi will go up, off speed again. This time Molina was there. Riri Meneses with a big one. That's two already for Riri in this third set. A quick attack by Ria Menezes. Let's see the location of that attack here. Ten foot line here attacking Dan Ponce. And again for Jill, that was almost too close to the net. And she still managed to pull it off. A serve. Oh, third set already for Maddie. <laughs> Look at Maddie. Nahanapan din ang butas talaga ang signal. Smart play by Maddie Madaya. Targeting that drop ball here. Zone four. Perfect placement, perfect target. Via Henra was there. But it was quick, it happened fast. A serve. And Jell pushing it to Molina this time. He's a Molde with a pickup. Catalentino from back row. Read by Riri. And this is a broken play. This is going to be a freebie. Free ball. Where will Dina go? To Madi Bayam. Matayam, why not? Dina Wong activating all their middle blockers at the right time. The Signal HG Spikers are having a difficult time in terms of blocking because Dina is distributing the ball. Yeah, absolutely. That is why Chocomucha has been successful in this match. Madeira goes ready with eight. Catolentino and Cici Rondina both with 13 points. So they're too tight. Smart play by Chocolentino. Yeah. Vet moves here. Absolutely. That sequence, yep. Yeah, looks like she wasn't going to make it there on time. Still managed to get the point using the hands of the blocker. Smart play. Joe Gonzaga also a, a vital cog here for Signal today. 11 already for Joe. We see just off the hands. And we just like to see her fly. Yes. I think this was destiny actually for CC to be a flying titan. Yes. <laughs> Determined beforehand. And I also said in the pregame, Shiki, she's really the missing piece. Mm. That closure that Chocolate has been needing in the past years. Especially when you take a look at the journey of the titans here. CC Rondina, the insertion of her is perfect for the titans. She's also brought out the best in Dina Wong, you gotta say. Yep. Yeah. Given Dina more confidence. Mm -hmm. And of course, we are still missing the services of Des Cheng, who had to cut out early in this conference because of her injury. Jogli Gonzaga, we've been talking about her all night long. And for good reason, she has delivered every time. Via Henera with that bump set. Jogli Gonzaga, just avoiding the blocking here, especially when you're left-handed chicky, it's very tricky to actually read your attack. Yeah. And here again, we see her utilizing her beach volleyball experience. Yes. Yung mga lagay niya and how to get past the box. Placement, yep. Placement, just like Cece. A quick one for Doria. And Cherry Luna this time. So it's the middles and we see even Jelka Yuna with the intention of activating her middles as well. But it's Choco Mucho who is able to score more in that regard. A simple A quick attack ran by Dina Wong. Nothing too flashy. Just getting the job done. You see Dina actually taking that risk and setting the middle blockers here. Before she didn't set the middle blockers too much, but you see that she's more confident. This time Doria and Jelka Yuna now, who is his SC, CC Rondina. That's not the easiest thing to do. And Signal happy about getting to 30 points first. They have a two point advantage in our first technical timeout.
Experience a new way to feel the heart of volleyball. Watch every set, spike, dig, and block live in HD and on demand anytime, anywhere, and on any device via Filipinas Live app. Download and register now. Say hey to all of you catching us on the Filipinas Live app. There's that question we asked you earlier today. Which spiker will power her team to a semis win? And you say what? between Seth Molina and, and Cici Rondina. Yep. Yeah. Let's see. Oh. Just barely here with 18% yeah. on Seth Molina and 82% on Cici Rondina. In terms of the points, let's see. Seth Molina with 12 and Cici with 14. So interesting to see how really the po points tell you a different story. 13 attacks there for CC. So all told, Cespolina has been working hard in every aspect of her game anyway. Also on defense. And that was CC and Cess going up against each other right on cue. And CC timing that one. Gel sending it over. Isa Mulder read it. Scrappy defense yes, here. Absolutely. They're getting in each other's way, but Walambu guy. Look at the defense from both squads. A chance now for Chocomucho to set up. Where will Dina go? Back set to Catalantino. She gets it done. The yeah, general frustrated there because she got a hand on the ball. Dila niya maitaas. Let's see that replay again. Great swing by Catalantino. You see that margin between Vanny Gandler and the antenna. And that margin is so small, but talk about athleticism by Castro Latino. And also Dina Wong setting it at that right place. Nahanap talaga yung dadaanan. Babia was there in that rally. Gander again just powering through the Puma block. The Twin Towers, the Tall Girls, Tolentino and Luna at the front. And Vanny Gander has been very efficient and uh, helpful in this third set. Very steady by Vanny Gander. Also in terms of defense and receive, she is really the target when it comes to service receive. Oh, seeing an ace for Rose Doria. And seen her with a couple of those. So that is uh, two points already for Rose. Two points only, shall I say. Usually she has a bigger output than this. Yep. Signal currently number six in serving. Lisa ball there. And you see how wow, it's just Dina Wong so relaxed and so sure about where she's gonna bring the ball. And it was really Lisa Ball there. It was right for that one. You see the location of the attack, avoiding Jelka Yuna Ria Menezes late in that sequence, but talk about Issa Molde going for off-speed attacks, drop ball, but you saw a firepower attack here, just a variety yeah. from Issa Molde, nothing too predictable. Maria yeah. Vanessa is now joining the scoring effort here on side of signal, which is what they need to do. See that replay here. Maria Vanessa earlier, she went for the running, running attack, went for that cross court and she switched it up here for going with going down the line and she also scored on a quick so you got Maria Meneses activated here and that's going to be another point for Signal HD Spikers looking good here this must win third set they want to extend it and Chocomucho needs the call for time okay. All right. One 
Pero kailangan tayo may mag-stop yung depensa natin. Masyado lang tayo nag-iitin ng kakapagkakamali nila eh. Tara buhuin natin. Kaya pati sumatrabaho ng ano eh, ng puso sa ating galing sa transition. Ilang nawawala sa ating ngayon. Okay, oh, balik tayo ha. Balik ka, balik, balik ka. Two spikers pa lang naman sa harapan. May chance pa tayo dyan ha. Sige, sige. Ponte there, trying to egg her teammates on. Malayu pa nga naman. I mean, this is a four-point lead. Not uh, the most comfortable for Choco Mucho, but they do need to uh, improve on their defense, as Coach Dati pointed out. That's right. And especially, we can't neglect the offense. See Sir Allen of Rubisco here. Allen Acedo. Of Rubisco and also Jonathan Nang of Rubisco as well. Supporting both squads, Creamline also played earlier yep. against Cherry Tigo. It's a whole day for them. Yes. <laughs> and it's going to be that way for the rest of the semifinals, consecutive games for them. And meet that Manny Gandler. Has been pouring it on. Gandler already in double digits as well. Great swing by Vanny Gadler, touching the outer hand of Pat Filipino. This is crunch time for ah. the Chalka Mitchell Flying Titans here. Oh, that's called inside! Another ace for Jel Kayuna. She's already scored six. Three from the service line. Six points altogether for Jel Kayuna so far today. And 14 excellent sets already. Nice ah, that's a good serve. It's going to be a tough one, and that will go. The way of Jelka Yuna and Signal again. That's considered an ace, isn't it? Because it's going to go back. That is an ace. Yeah. Because there's no touch on the second contact. It's difficult serve. Well, that was not an ace, it's rather. An ace. Because Dan Ponce went for that bump set. And it's really the, it's the serves of Jel Kayuna that has uh, really gotten them this far. And the Choco Mucho, like Coach Dante said, you just need that stop. And they just need the chance to get their plays going. Meantime, we have a block touch challenge. It's that time of this third set where you have to be really careful if you're signal because you want to keep playing. For those of you just joining us now, there's a lot of great action, but more to come. 25-18 with the score in that first set, 25-23, uh, second set, and Signal now in a must-win situation. This is the first of our uh, semi-finals. And this is the best of three semi-finals. Yes, best of three series. There's no block touch on the attack of Isa Molde. So that was an unsuccessful challenge by Coach Shaq. Also, Creamline took Cherry Tigo in straight sets earlier today. But uh, it was a sweep, but it was also very exciting. That was a lot of fun to watch. There was a lot of habulan. Yes. Creamline coming from behind. Beautiful rallies as yeah. well. See, Signal has a momentum here based on their movements. Mm -hmm. More loose, more fluid. And you need more chances to set up. Gel going for Riri. And she takes it soft as Riri now with four points. And Priya Menezes, so she doesn't have to bounce on the ball every time. It's not always about power, but placement. Let's see this tip. Maddie was almost there to get it, but I want to talk about the demeanor here of the Signal HG Spikers. You see more hunger, yeah. more fight to win compared to the first two sets. I mean, look at the score. It's definitely a lopsided third set here. And Signal knows what they need to do. But they have to keep it up. Can't count Chocomucho out just yet with this girl in your team. But that one is called outside. So things is going the way of Signal. Everything working for them. These rare errors for yes. CC coming at an opportune time for Signal. And they're going to challenge that one too. Why not? Nothing to lose. And it's 
interesting. I mean, if you were to uh, just describe what happened or talk about how this third set looks the way it does, knowing that Signal uh, was having such a hard time against Choco in the first two sets. More consistency yeah. by Vanny Gandler, Jovelin mm. Gonzaga. And you see that everything is going their way. More stable first ball as well, which is allowing Jel Kayuna to run the middles more. We did say that in the first two yeah. sets, right? Lack of attacks from the middles because there's no first ball. But you see here, Varai in for Tolentino. Got to talk about Kaylin Varai, whether she's first six or coming off the bench. Stellar performances in the Invitational Conference and in, the, in this conference as well. Let's see if she can make a difference here. This is going to be a tough trek. Oh, lucky for them that went out yes. because you don't want Jelka Yuna <laughs> uh, taking her time there at the serve. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, you did talk, talk about Kate Verai. You know, you're happy for Kate Verai, Isa Molde, these girls who are able to show uh, their importance in the team in the absence of Bess Chang. And Signal is well on their way to winning this third set. Multiple set points for them. They want to extend this. They want to keep on playing. And they're already looking better than they did the first time these two teams met, which is what Coach Shaq wanted. Yes, Riri, you are definitely back. Yeah. yeah. This could be it. Let's see if Choco Mucho can stop the bleeding. Yuna back set to Jones. Just pushes the ball in. Is there a touch? No, it's too tight. Ah, yep. There's a uh, check ball from Choco Mucho. Is there going to be a challenge still? I think Choco Mucho will call for a challenge here. A block touch challenge. Oh, this is the last ditch effort to salvage this third set. But I think Joe was pretty sure that she got that check ball. They were already celebrating the point. We'll see how that goes. This is for set point. So this is an important challenge for Choco Mucho. So this was a test for Choco Mucho to end this match in three sets. Mm. It's not always about how you start, but how you finish, ah. right? So the Signal HG Spikers are going to go down with the fight, especially this is game one of the semifinals, you want to lock in that first win. Yeah. And again, we're talking about how huge the deficit here is in this third set. I mean, this is Signal really dominating in this third set. Is there a block touch? Mm. Did the fingers move? Your call, viewers, what do you say at home? <laughs> block touch, yep. Yun din mang hula ninyo? Yeah, mukhang talagang gumalaw yung ever so slightly. Igalaw. So that was a successful challenge. So we'll take it. Unsuccessful. And that's a... So the challenge was there was no block touch. And Signal was sure that there was a block touch. So that is a win for Signal. And we go on to set number four. We'll talk more about this set after the break. Wait by the Filipinos live app available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for 149 pesos. 
And look at that, 25-14, set number three. Look nothing like sets one and two. The Signal HG Spikers had a 10-1 to one run to end set number three. In the first two sets, they lacked that first ball, which prevented Delka Yuna to run the middle. But in this third set, the much-needed win in this third set, better first balls, more production from Ria Menezes, Vanny Gandler, and Cesc Molina. And of course, that girl on your screen, Joglin Gonzaga. And the Chalk Mucha Fighting Titans had difficult in terms of blocking and also had quite a few unforced errors as well. But as we enter this fourth set, it's very crucial to minimize the unforced errors and to stay consistent. I mean, you want to lock in that first win of the set. And I think that goes for both squads because this is not the kind of signal that Joko Mucho wants to play against. They've kind of found their footing in this third set. You see the attacks here, 16 on the side of signal and only 10 from the Choco Mucho Fighting Titans. So you see that disparity here. Five opponent errors as well by the Choco Mucho Fighting Titans and three on the side of signal. And we don't see a lot of blocks compared to the first two sets of the Choco Mucho Fighting Titans. That is what helped them in the first set as well. How about the aces? Three aces wow. for Signal. And we know that they are dangerous. Uh, they rank high as a team in uh, serving, but particularly Jelka Yuna has always been really a very lethal uh, player at the service line. And that was really, uh, I think, uh, something that uh, we can depend on Jelka Unifor, she never really disappoints when she goes for those, what do you call them, the Japanese style yes. serves. The serve that goes right above the tape. You know, I remember back in Ateneo, Coach O would have a tape above the antenna mm. from the left to right pin, so it would be attached and we would have to serve ah, in between. Ah, so you had a target. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and it's really right there. She is the service right above the tent of the, the net. Uh -huh. It's quicker, so... It's a much harder serve. Mm. We've always uh, started with rallies for the first point. Let's see, this is what we're getting. Oh, this one goes right away to Chocomucho. See, Caitlin Dry actually starting this set here in for Catalatino. Now, this is another adjustment that the Signal HG Spikers need to adjust to because they have Jovelin Gonzaga, who's a lefty, and now you have Caitlin Fry, who's a lefty yeah. as well. Oh, wow, the blocks are back. Kate Farai and Cherry Nuna joining forces there. And that's, like you said, what, what was missing also on the side of Shoko Mucho in the third set. The oh. blocks. The blocks. Kaylin Farai is known for her blocking. She's pumped up for this oh. set. Meneses stopped there by Dina. And again, these smart plays. Kate Murray, that was read though by uh, Bia Naral. Too low. Quick one, Heneral doing her job. Broken play here. Oh, and that is just an error. You know, Isa Mold is holding on to her right ankle. We hope it's just... We, we hope it's nothing. She's back on her feet. And that was an error on the attack. Right into the net. She was trying to go for that sharp cross for the attack. Avoiding the block of Signal. And she looks fine. Yeah, right? she looks yep. fine. Here's Jell at the service line. And that one is outside. And Freddie Reyes is ready for her report. Go, Freddie. I got to speak with the veterans of the Signal HD Spikers. And Cesc Molina told me that sometimes they have a tendency to focus too much on what their opponent is doing. Yes, they do scout them, but it's also important that they focus on their own performance and how they play on the court. We saw them much more eager in that last set. And that good reception helped them make their plays and get those blocks and attacks in. Now, I also spoke with Jovelin Gonzaga. She said that, yes, again, scouting is important, but here in the semis, it's all about who's more mentally tough and who can play smarter. Let's see if Signal can extend this match or
or if Topomucho will claim their first win. Download the Filipinos Live app and get free seven-day premium access. Enjoy live and on-demand PBL along with highlights, updates, and original programs. Back to you, Chicky and Jamie. Thanks so much, Franny. Excellent point from the veterans. You know, those are the vet veteran thoughts. Tama nga naman. You, of course, you want to study the other team, pero nakakaligtaan mo what is working and not working on your side. You might lose sight of what you actually need to work on because you're too focused on your opponent when, in fact, you should just be focusing focusing on your own game. Ah. Meantime, we've seen a couple of attack errors already from Choco Mucho. Oh, no error there, but a great stop by Jel Cayuna. And Leander, uh, that's Tang Ponce there setting up Kate Verai, but that looks like it was outside. The set of Tang Ponce was a little bit too outside of the antenna, and Kaylin Verai is left-handed, like mm -hmm. I mentioned before. She was chopped in that rally. So uh, the setting needs to be adjusted also for a left-handed attacker. Can't be too far out. Oh, Manny Gallo with an ace. And Signal has been dangerous with their serves today. They started off with long ball serves. I remember Jal Kayuna started off with an ace as well. Heavier serves on the side of Signal targeting CC Rondina. That one was uh, better handled by Cece. Broken play. They want Jill to get the first ball there. And Cesc Molina, you knew what you wanted to do. Yeah, the veteran moves. Just go deep to the baseline. And she found it. Going for that corner pocket, zone one. That's also coming from a bump set of Via General. Out of system play here. I mentioned this before. When you need that side out, Signal will definitely go to mm. Cesc Molina. Good Verai going up. And this time, she's able to hit off the hands of Cesc Molina there. Smart play by Caitlin Verai, who is also a beach volley player uh -huh. back in USC. Three points for Kate Verai already since she came in late in the third set. Oh, that's outside and frustrating for her. We've seen a, a few service errors already in this fourth set. You know, going back to Jelka Yuna, she is the second best server in the league. She is actually uh, just behind uh, Krish Makaslang, and Madi Madayag is the other one in the top 10. Kayuna started out with 15 aces, now she oh, has yeah. 18, 19 aces. <laughs> Challenge called here, ball in, ball out by the Chocomucha Flying Titans. Yeah, you know that something is eating Isa Molde because she is, uh, I think it's her ankle that has been a problem for her. We see her. And of course, it's been a long game. This has a, a, been a hard fought, fought match so far. At matagal pato, mahaba pato. This is a best of three series. And then there's the finals. Of course, Chocomucho coming in second place after the first round. So looking really good with only one loss in their record. And that was against the Cream Line Cool Smashers mm -hmm. in the opening match, mm -hmm. I believe. So they only lost to Cream Line, who is up to this point undefeated. Defeating the Cherry Tigo crossovers yeah. in three sets earlier today. We're waiting for the results or the playback for the ball in, ball out challenge. Mm, that's outside, that's outside. But very so close. close. Yeah, that was really worth a challenge, I think. But it is called out. Thank yeah. you for the zoom in. <laughs> zoom in, zoom out yep. for the ball in, ball out. So signal, lead. They, they have uh, been. Uh, riding on the momentum from the third set. And like we said, that is dangerous for Choco Mucho. Nadi Mateyak wants to stop that momentum. Going for that running attack, her classic running attack, Dina Wong and Nadi Mateyak connection. 
Midoriya fooled with the setting of Dina Wong. They serve. Yep. Joe Gonzaga stopped there by Madayag and Rondina. Quick one. Great uh, reflexes by Ponce, also by Anaral. You know, it's really the, the bigs and the defense that have been working for Signal, allowing Jelga Yuna to find her attackers. Gotta give Bia General credit for the beautiful defense we have. Says Molina, nothing too flashy, she going for that down the line. Ah, you know, no? lang yung dulo. And it wasn't the strongest of attacks also, it's also just placement. They figured out the defense pattern here of Chocomucho. Kate Verai was able to get a hand on that one, but it was too strong from Cess, and Cess is on a roll. 16 already for the veteran. Targeting that down the line yet again. Normally with that down the line, you need to be balanced mm -hmm. in your posture. Kate was not expecting that. <laughs> Signal with a five-point lead here. Another must-win set, actually, and it's been Madi Madayag that Chocomucha has been counting on. She is almost flawless with her slide attack there. Madi already with uh, 10 double digits for her. Mostly from a running attack. Mm -hmm. And her box as well, her kill box. And we talked about her being also in the top 10 best uh, servers. She is in 10th place. And you do want to go right back to the server, which is what Cespolina did. Just playing so smart, Cespolina. Especially if the middle was the one that served. Yeah. Defense is not their strongest skill set. And di pa nakakapasok yung libero. So tamang tama talaga yung ginawa ni Cespolina. Found really the weak point of the defense at that time. General working really hard here for Signal. Also, Tang Ponce. Mm. Jelkayuna going back row. Great stop there by Ponce. And Doria will score from the middle. Middle blockers just doing the job here for Signal. This is what we've been talking about this entire match. We need more production from the middle blockers. Beautiful B quick attack by Doria. Also stable first ball from the Signal HD Spikers. And you know, this is really trouble here. Isa Molde is really hurting. And she is, uh, looks like she is in real pain. Reg Arocha will come in for Isa Molde and uh, the Chocomucho coaching staff will try to sort things out and see what's up. It's, it could also be fatigue. Jamie, they've been playing right. a while. And look at this. Everything's working. The signal. It's difficult to stop. Uh, to stop blocks easy Rondina like that. But signal already up by seven in this first technical timeout. Ang laban sa pinakabagong sports app na Pilipinas Live. Mapapanood ang PBA Season 48 live in high definition and on demand on any device. Available worldwide. Download and register now for free. We are back here 
at the Phil Sports Arena. Good evening, all of you. Glad you're still uh, with us. Past uh, your dinner time and enjoying the action here. Lots of action. The signal has gotten their groove and they are dominating in this fourth set like they did in the third. That was an easy win for them. 25-14 was how that went for those of you just joining us now. So, Medyo, nag-iba ang ihip ng hangin in favor of Signal. Polished movements from the Signal HC Spikers. Jelka Yuna really distributing the ball evenly. And a lot of their attacks are being converted into points. That's the difference. The attacks earlier in set number two, there was a higher percentage in terms of attack points from the talking and combined titans. But you see now, Cesc Molina going for the down the line on Caitlin Bry. We had two consecutive points there. We need some in-game in adjustments by the Chocolate Mitchell Flying Titans. And that's a point. So it's a good time out there for Choco Mucho. We also see Red Roger still on the court. And we saw Isa Molde earlier also wobbling off the court. It seems that there really is a, an issue with her ankle. Let's hope it's nothing serious. And we hope she can come right back. This is a, we are in the semifinals after all. And Kate Verai continues to play here for Choco Mucho. She scored three already. We have not heard from Cece Rodina in this fourth set yet. And that one was foiled by Gonzaga. Gandler blocked, and that was outside. Danny Gandler will score. Danny Gandler targeting the hands of Caitlin Verai. She did that earlier today, yes. too. So that is 12 points already for Vanny. What a dig by Jocelyn oh, Gonzaga. Gonzaga. We know she has that in her. Magpapakamatay talaga si Jocelyn Gonzaga sa bola. Ostoria with a serve. Dina looking for Kate Verai. We know that Kate wanted to go deep. There was nobody there for signal, but she missed the line. Good idea, just the uh, execution a little bit wanting. See Pat Tolentino going in now for Kaylin Bryce. Pat had a little bit of a rest, scored 14 points in the first three sets. And she's back in action now. Let's see if that uh, will make a difference also for Choco Mucho, bringing back Pat Tolentino, their top scorer. Nice serve. Together with Rondina, both with 14. Doria setting up Molina in back row. And another broken play here for Choco. Cece. And this time, that is outside. Cece is able to hit off the hands. This is a much needed side out by the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. That is Cece's first point only in this fourth set. A good read there by Cherry Nunag. And Riri. Freddy Reyes has a quick report for us. Go, Freddy. Thanks, Chicky. I just came from the Choco Mucho side of the court where Isa Molde is uh, worried or worried about what might be wrong with her ankle. She was crying earlier, but those tears were more from frustration because you could tell just how much she wanted to be in the court to contribute to her team. They're still assessing what's going on, and we look forward to hopefully seeing Isa come back. The Chocomucho Flying Titans aren't content with just making it to the semifinals. They want to make it all the way, and we hope to see her playing again in this game. Back to you guys. Thanks for that update, Franny, and we do wish Isa Molde well. Don't want any kind of injuries, uh, especially in this, yeah, in this uh, second round already with the semifinals. But Gonzaga, meantime, just pounding down on Choco Mucho. And again, Catolentino. She's back. Catolentino just uh, looking for the right uh, placement. She went deep and cross court. I was like, why is the crowd so loud? <laughs> Bay is going in. <laughs> is it because of the uh, challenge? No, it's that Bay de Leon getting ready to come in for Choco Mucho. But first, we have to take care of the challenge here. I think Joko Zaga is saying, wag na lang. But the challenge has already been called. Ball in, ball out challenge called by Signal. I think that's the attack from Kat Tolentino. The cross-court attack. Yeah. And it was on the other side, so we 
we're yeah. able to see it as well. And uh, this is uh, also be gonna be uh, crucial for Catalentino uh, and the rest of Chocobucho because they're beginning to get their momentum. Yes. And it's na naman, medyo na naman. Na na Signal trying to halt their momentum, yeah. but the ball is slowly rolling for the Chocobucho flying Titans here in this fourth set. And uh, look at the time to look at how these players are faring in the different categories. CC Rodina, number three, Beth Spiker, and Vanny Gandler is in the number six position. So that's uh, pretty interesting how Vanny is able to get in. Oh, that is out. Definitely outside. So that was the point, was initially given to Choco Mucho. But I think Coach Dante will call it for another challenge, which is allowed. Mm, but block this touch. Time, uh, block touch uh, challenge naman. Talagang nakikita natin kung gano'ng kahalaga yung mga puntos dito. Both coaches do nothing to chance. We have time to talk more about the, uh, the different uh, criteria. Riri Menes is the number nine blocker. And EDL in the game and the fans are loving it. Terry Nunag will sit out. Terry Nunag has also put in a lot of effort. Nunag with nine points for stepping out. Yeah, yep. great production from Nunag. And Bea Dalayon coming in at the serve. Chocomucho down by six. And the Flying Titans have some catching up to do. Danny Gandler coming from the right pin this time. Going for that down the line. Danny Gandler, steady performance by Danny Gandler this entire match. You can see that she's more comfortable. She has gelled with the system of Coach Shock. And Jelka Yuna has mastered her set. Mm. She, does, she doesn't want the set too far off the net. She doesn't want it too high. Just the right height above the net. Oh, that was a good serve, but an even better return by Reg Arocha. She stopped Manessas setting up Job Gonzaga. Good pick up there by Riri. Or CC, rather. <laughs> a little overcooked that rally by CC Rondina. CC a little off. The last couple of uh, chances, the last couple of balls she's been given. And that is also the difference for Signal when you're able to block CC and we now call it comfort time. Dante, not giving them a specific play, but you got to work hard. That's the main point of his timeout. They're trailing down eight points, and they're up two. So this is really a test of their character. This is beyond skill, right? Especially as we enter the semis. The skill is there by both squads, but this is beyond that. Yeah. I think Coach Dante also wants his girls to be more proactive rather than reactive to actually uh, set the pace and start getting the plays down and making things happen. Let's see if they can do it. Let's see if that timeout did them any good. Well, look at Signal scrambling on defense. CC Rondina also. Uh, Jov Gonzaga. Getting the better of the two-man block, but ball's still alive. Rondina is stopped. No, Gonzaga. Look at what a net touch by Chinos. <laughs> and that was a tough one. That was coming all the way from the back. It's also too tight as well for Jovelin Gonzaga. <laughs> oh, yeah. No need for a challenge on that one. Still a seven-point deficit, and not a good time for a service error here. 
glossy hair when I had to eat, you know. Mr. Psychiatric, he also calls the momentum of your team. Signal mean that it's a different signal we're seeing here in the third and fourth sets. They want to play a fifth set, but Choco Mucho just taking one point at a time and working hard, but it cannot be a side out game at this point. Look at the score, Jamie. They need to gain some momentum. They need to go back, dig deeper, and look back at how they played the first and second sets. Yeah. Sailing. You can't let the emotions get to the best of you as well. Cesc Molina. And Red Rocha could not stop that one. You know that Cesc will go deep. She knows that that is the weakness on the court of Choco Mucho. That zone one specifically. Either down the line, whether it's a combination play. And Signal really has found their footing, found their rhythm. Things are really looking good for the HD Spikers. And uh, a flash of hope here for Choco Mucho when they are given opportunities like this to get their game going by a, a service error. They need to really capitalize on that. And now it's really reminiscent. I think that's uh, because of the cramps. Cramps, because of, yeah, the demands of this match. See Bea De Leon playing in here in the front row. Ball still good. Great effort there by Signal. And good set there by Madi Matayag. Molina will go up. Out the ball. Manny Gandler. Ball still alive. Molina stopped by the blockers. Tolentino stopped by Gandler. Molina again, and this is a heck of a rally here, late in the fourth set. Cici Molina says, no more. You can stop me once, stop me twice, but not a third time. And Cici, the hard way, but she will score. Point number 14 for Choco Mucho. Targeting the outer hand of Jel Cayuna. See Malabanan in now for Cesc Molina. I think she needs a breather. And Jelly Malabanan is a latecomer here in this match. Mari Mateyag already with 10 points in this match. And just checked Cesc Molina already with 19. So this is, I think, just Cesc getting a breather. She needs to rest a bit. And will she get a check ball? And it's interesting, you know, when every single signal HD player wanted that video, uh, the challenge. They were very sure of yeah. the block touch here. I mean, they have the front row seat. They will see about the, the block touch there. And let's see if they're proven right. Again, they're at a big advantage here. They have the lead. They're playing much better in this fourth set, but they're not going to give up the point if they don't need to. Still missing the Yeah, you gotta have this uh, juggling with Zaga. We talk about maybe her. Uh, better moves, but also that she is a seasoned player, meaning she is not as young as some of these players anymore, but you can't tell. I mean, she is in perfect shape. She dives for every ball. Talaga yung pagka beach volleyball player niya nakatulong kay Jovelin Gonzaga. And she also provides that experience that the others don't have, right? Because she's also older, but not only that, she's also an emotional leader and she leads by example, especially with the absence of Dakis, uh -huh. Jovelin really needs to step up, also with Seth Molina, in being a leader on the court. Yeah. And that's what she provides. I sometimes see her talking to Vanny Gandler. That's the ate that needs to be there for her team. Yeah, we saw yeah. in the feature earlier that it was uh, really Jov, Jov's greeting to Vanny that was more, most yes. important to her on her birthday. No block touch. 
Signal HD seems to be so sure about that black touch, but wrong about that one. So that is going to go the way of Choco Mucho. Tess Molina is coming right back in and talking about the, having the leaders of the court, John Gonzaga for Signal. We have Bea De Leon already in the court as well, and yes. we know that she is the heart, the captain of uh, Choco Mucho Flying Titans. Let's see if that will also spell the difference yes, for the Uber girls. That was a good serve. Molina. Stop there, Wong, going to a quick for Bea de Leon. Another chance here. We have a rally. A quick one to BDL, and she has caught Jel Cayuna with that surprise one two. And that's their first one two play yeah. here in this fourth set. Normally, the defense of the Chocomucha Flying Titans. Wow. Either Cato Lentino or Mari Madeyag to get that short ball. That was just perfectly timed. So sneaky, so smart by Jel Cayuna. And Signal looking really good. Wanting to extend this to a fifth decider. Ball still alive. Lentina. Dug by John Gonzaga there, and it's going to be Gandler scoring point number 22. You know that attack was actually going outside by Gandler on that combination play. And again, Coach Dante, is, uh, I guess he doesn't know what else to say to these girls. Very calm and collected, Coach Dante. Rondina going up. She is foiled at the block. Another broken play. Back row attack for Arrocha. That is her second point in this fourth set. That is her second point. Arrocha in for Isa Molde. And Chocomucho still in it. It's a six point deficit, but. We've seen them play catch up before. Too low. Chance for Chocomucho here. Oh, perfectly executed. And Dina Wong has been trying that with BDL. And they really appreciate the uh, persistence and just the stick to itiveness of Dina Wong and BDL. Beautiful back quick attack by Bea De Leon. We have a timeout. Okay, tayo. Good, tayo, good. Yes, Ayon yung crowd, ayan yung lang. Yeah, yung, 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 yung ingay na yan, i-build natin, atin yun, kasi kailangan pupuntos tayo. And stay focused mo sa ginagawa natin. Kung ano yung ginagawa natin na tama, at maganda yung ginagawa natin, ituloy lang natin yun, hindi siya magbabago. Pukumit lang kung punta sa kalaban, balik lang ulit. Ah, balik lang tayo. Okay, okay. Stay tayo, MJ, MJ. Come on, MJ. Huwag magmamadali. One point at a time. Feel strong, feel strong. Chuck telling his squad, you know, we're in a good place. They have a cushion here. They're three points away from winning this fourth set. We have a fifth set if ever they win this set. But he's saying that they are in a good place. He also mentioned that they shouldn't rush. If they, if Chakamucha gets a point, don't beat yourself up. Just move on to the next point. Also acknowledging the seventh man in the Chakamucha side, which is the, the fans. Huwag mo patinin yung mga, yung ingay ng fans, sabi ni Coach siya. Because that really is a factor. See this replay here. Beautiful set by Jelka Yuna. Danny Gandler on a roll in this entire match. Very steady performance. Particularly this uh, fourth set. She already has 15, Danny Gandler. And BDL this time foiled by Doria. Oh, look at the... Defense on both sides. Gandler putting it up. Arrocha with a dig. BDL scores again. A quick attack by Bea De Leon. They've mastered this connection here. Let's see that replay. Oh, that was worth the replay, definitely. So fast and uh, just uh, Single didn't know what hit him. This is all good, but Chocomucho has the string along the points. 
Jelka Yuna. She just wants to end it already. She wants to go for set five. And second time she goes for the one two. And such an athlete and such a smart setter. Jelka Yuna being one of the offensive setters here. She wants in the to PBL. go. She wants to go double digits. She yeah. already has nine points. Oh, and that was a tough serve. This is a set point for Signal. That's one set point averted by the flight guys. I mean, the trouble with the flight guys were trailing by a large amount, but they've managed to close the gap just a bit. I think part of the strategy here is also who to substitute in and at one point, at one point, which point? BDL has contributed much here for Choco Mucho, but it might be a little too late. Gonzaga trying to end things here, and she does. Look at Jovelin Gonzaga, the veteran. Beach volleyball player going to DC Rotina, who couldn't stop that ball. One more time on that winning attack by Gonzaga. Got to go to the vets, especially when it's crunch time. We're in for a treat, yeah. Chiki. Five we are sets. going to set five, you all. And uh, this is what we expected out of these two fantastic teams. Back for more after the break. Five nineteen. It took 35 minutes to settle the score on that last uh, set, the fourth set, and we are in for a decider. This is a five-set thriller for all of you. Let's look back at set number four, Jamie. Gotta give credit to the Signal HC Spikers. Better first ball when it comes to the receive and better defense, which is allowing Jelka Yuna to run her middles more, and that's also what I said in set number three. Now on the side of the Choco Mucho Flying Titans, we have Eugene Arocha in for Issa Molde. That is also going to change their first six offense, but better production by the middle blockers. Bea De Leon went in in this first set. A quick attack, back quick attack from Bea De Leon, but now it's a clean slate, right? It's zero to zero, and this is really a test of your character. I said this before, it goes beyond skill as we see the set four stats here on your screen. Choco Mucho with eight airs here. This is the most airs we've seen yeah. in this set here. And that is what prevented them from gaining that momentum. We saw miss serves as well. But in terms of the attacks, almost the same 14 on the side of Signal and 12 on the side of Choco Mucho. Absolutely, and we're talking about the substitutions as well, uh, coming from the side of Choco Mucho. Bea De Leon coming in uh, towards the latter part of the fourth set. Was it a little uh, too little too late? Maybe if she had come in earlier, it would yep. have made a difference. But uh, we'll see what happens. Like you said, it is a clean slate here. Uh, back to zero, back to square one. But this one is going to go by quick. Stop it. So until 15. And That's right. You see, Issa Molde, I mean, I remember when she went down, you could see she was getting a little teary-eyed because 
it's also frustration as well. Yeah. She wants to play for her team, but she's being a trooper here in the fifth set. I think it's frustration and also anxiety and fear of the unknown. Matatakot ka, ano kaya yun? Ano ba ito? Uh, is she playing on adrenaline now? She is on the court, but you know that she's gonna, probably going to be a little more careful with her movement. Another difference in the fourth set was a quiet CC Rondina. Yep. So we expect her to really come out in full swing, literally and otherwise, in this fifth set. It's also CC was silent as well because... Ah. <laughs> there you go. That is the CC that we've been waiting for. See, Ria Menezes is not there for that block. And you know, we love these slow mos because you see her form, her approach, her elevation. And that's the flying titan. I think she was meant to be playing for this team. CC Rondina. Ball there. Off speed there. Jelka Yuna looking for Gandler. Nice pick up there by Ponce. Good stop there by Gonzaga. Jelka Yuna looking for Gonzaga again. What a rally we're seeing here. This is only the second point and an error there by Cici Rondina. Giving signal the first point. Freddy Reyes has a report. Thanks, Chicky. Error is plagued the Chocomucho Flying Titans in that last set. And you can start to see their body language change. Frustration getting the best of them. And I actually saw Tang Ponce before this set reminding Dina and Cici that they are the leaders on the court. And they can't get frustrated. The rest of the team will follow their lead. Now, the coach has told them, Let's start with a strong, good serve, and everything else will follow. The Chocomucho Flying Titans have been in this situation before. They know what it takes to win, and they have to dig deep if they want to take this first game of the semifinals. Download the Filipinas Live app and get free seven-day premium access. Enjoy live and on-demand PBL along with highlights, updates, and original programs. Back to you, Chicky and Jamie. I like that, Freddy. They really have to dig deep. I mean, literally, literally. And otherwise, also, because we've been seeing a lot of very tough serves and attacks from Signal. But, you know, thank Bonse. She is the one who's trying to rile up her teammates. She deserves that because she has been working so hard. But it's Vanessa's both on the attack and on the block. She has been a vital cog for Signal, I think, in this catch up uh, job. Take her and Molina. Take a look at that synchronized block between. Cess Molina and Ria Menezes. You see that the offense of Chocomucho is being easily read by the Signal Ishi Spikers. Two nice point serve. advantage for Signal. Riri, dog by Cece. Oh, look at the good re reflexes of Dina Wong there. Tolentino going up. Jelka Yuna was there for the defense. Neither team wants to let up here. Molde with a soft one. Good read by Meneses. John Gonzaga stopped by Dina Wong. Tolentino timing it. What a rally. Meneses with that hook shot. Talk oh, about that a <laughs> I think that was a dumb chick. <laughs> Talk about collaborative effort by the Signal HD Spikers. Take a look at that B quick attack by Ria Meneses. Not the best of sets to her, but she was able to make a way. And we've seen that many times, Riri knows how to use her height advantage. Yes. Not the strongest of the tops, but it works. Yeah. Ball there. And somebody at the net. And touch here. Dirty ball to get a signal. Mucho is liking that ball. And Sherry back. Luna good nine already today. That's a good serve. This is a broken play, but Luna will go up. And Luna with a stop. Another chance here for Signal. They recycle. Molina goes up. And that is solid for Catolentino. Keep in mind that Mali Madayag and Catolentino in the front row, the twin towers here of the Chocomucha Flying Titans. And here's another one who also knows how to use her height. That is a stuff block, a classic one. Those are the blocks that are 
Very difficult to cover. Mm. Alina goes up again. She goes over the block this time, but Alina Wong was there for the defense. And I think they have to regroup. Signal has to just take their time. And the concept is saying that is inside. Sess is so sure that it was an in ball. And there's going to be a challenge. <laughs> Coach Shaq drawing a very, very big uh, video screen. <laughs> ball in, ball out. Challenge called by the Signal HG Spikers. I mean, we feel the tension here. Really, Jamie. Let's see. Seth said it was in. Inside. And Seth is right. He's right about that. And Signal will get that point and the ball back. And also in the fourth set, Seth Molina targeted the down the line. Mm -hmm. There needs to be those in-game adjustments by the Chalkman and the Titans to get down the line. That's zone one. That is her specialty also when it comes to the combination plays. Let's see. They have very little time to adjust as this is going to be a quick set. 15. First to 15 will win. That's how this match and these service errors. We need no time for that either. Choco Mucha still trailing. Candolentino with an awesome stuff block in that uh, prior sequence. Cat already with 16 points. Uh, Javelin Gonzaga also in double digits here, and she has been hot today. 15 now for the Bionic Elonga. We're going to lean into the bet here of the Signal HE Spikers. There's a gap in the clock between Molde and Mari Madeag. That good serve. Better first ball from CeCe. Wow. And that's what happened. So this is what Coach Dante was talking about, Jamie. Just get our system going with that first good pass. See that replay here. Sitting out in the fourth set, but you're still able to manage that kind of attack. Great performance by Issa Molde. She's definitely going on an adrenaline uh, fifth set here. That's a very fast play by Jalka Yuna, giving a big quick attack to Doria. Let's see that replay. That was really fast, and Doria finding the corner there. That was a, kissing the line there. And again, amazing what we're seeing from Isa Molde. We don't know if she has that injury, yes, yes. but she is just leaving everything on the court today. Powering through yep. all of that. That was idea. a very close <laughs> one by Isa Molde. That was a good call. She knows her way around the court, and she knows to let that one go. Good decision for Isa Molde. Of course, she's going to be such a smart player. Yeah, no challenge. Again, talagang they are going to uh, use and abuse the challenge system at this point because they need Why not? To. Right. Why not? Right. And, you know, we're not really surprised that we are at this point of the match, JD. We knew it was going to be this heated. But it's interesting how it was really... Chocomocho looking really good playing their A game in the first two sets. And then Signal Bumawe. It wasn't close for every set. And that was definitely outside, no question. Possibly a strategic challenge. They want the maybe ISA server, Madi Madayag, and the best server in the league. Let's see if she can pull off a big one here. He serves. Nice further serve there. Chocomucho get a chance here. Rondina is dogged by a Neral. Gandler goes up. Oh, it's more. They're getting caught there, flat-footed. Beautiful production by Vanny Gandler. 16 already for Vanny Gandler. Most coming from that point. Yeah, really. She's 
sat out most of the second and third. And I think she needed to regroup, yeah. catch her breath. Maybe see things from, you know, a perspective uh, from the bench and see how things are moving. And she adjusted quite well. Uh, that was a tough one. This time Gander didn't get to that ball. She tried, but that is going to be a point for Choco Mucho. Really all up to this girl, Dina Wong. She's going to get her team through. Those numbers, 25 excellent sets for Wong today. Best setter in the league so far. Cici, just yes, look, top of the hands of Riri Meneses. She knows she's going to be challenged every time. Pero alam niya kung paano sa lagin. Yes. That's also coming from the drop ball of Vanny Gander, easily read by the Chocomucho Flying Titans. A lack of press by Ria Menezes on that block. And at this point, it's really going to be a side-out game, I believe. It's just going to be back and forth. Ria Menezes with a quick point now. See a lot of emotion coming out of Ria Menezes here. Beautiful running attack. Very efficient running attack here by Ria Menezes. I mean, she only started scoring in the third set. And now she is well in the game. She is very invested, very emotional, like you said. She wants a win. Tuned in. Oh, wow. Single block there by Gonzaga. One more time. And the ball is not good. Oh, wow. That was a, such an effort here by Singal. But come on, Cici Rodina. She went for the power attack, but in her second attempt, she actually changed the power of her attack. Very smart play. Because you're always expecting that kill power yeah. from her. Danny is marked! And Chocobucho in the lead now. Take a look at that synchronized block by Nina and Isa Molden. We have a timeout. Excitement here. Here are these two excellent teams. John Gonzaga. 16 points for John today. And that's a, a great outcome for her. But Seth Molina with 22 points. We haven't heard from her yet here in this uh, fifth set. A lot of their spikers are already in double digits here. Scores 10 all. Wong, outside set to Isa Molde. And Molina will go up. Ariri Meneses with a set. That's Molina liking it. And she will score with the pickup. Nice about that moves here yeah, in the sequence. There's actually no block by Cherry Nina. And because of that, Ponce is having a difficult time in terms of their defensive pattern on where to actually stay put. Ang bilis ang pangyayari at yung pitik ng bola ni Cez Molina. Very quick. Back set. That was a good one. But good read there by Signal. Gonzaga again. Ang Ponce knew what to do. Back row attack. That 
Oh, spoiled by Gattler. And again, this time off speed. And the rally what to do that time. Look at Joe Gonzaga just settling for whatever she gets here. Another chance here for Jimenez to score. And that is really frustrating, yes. Uh, Choco Mucho, because things just happening so fast, they can't get the defense, like the, the positions. I mean, they, they are where they need to be, but it's just how to get to that ball. And Vanessa is loving this moment. Yeah, getting a signal in the lead. We have a timeout. And this is Coach Dante just showing 100% trust in his girls. At this point, you really can't coach anymore. This is like doing what you've been doing in practice. Just remembering the system, making it work, and that is what Choco Mucho really has to do. Get that good first pass, get their plays going on the side of Sindel. They just need to keep at it. They just need to play like they have been, solid and uh, seamless, and avoid the errors. In other words, Jamie, it really is anybody's game here. Signals campaign and giving Vanny Gandler a service ace and her 17th point, and that is just frustrating for Joko Mucho. I remember that happened earlier in the match. Dina was actually able to yeah, get that first one time, but she wasn't looking at where the serve was in that sequence. And it was a little further out from where she was. That's a good first ball. Ball there. That was a pretty low set, I think, and the ball that blows that one. And Signal looks good here. This is what they wanted to do. They wanted a reverse uh, from what happened the first time they met Choco Mucho. Choco Mucho swept them the first time, and now they're at match point. Yeah, in three sets. Choco Mucho just needs a good first ball here. Let's see if they can foil his set point, match point. And it's the blocking of Signal. They're out on the court as if they won the semis already, but this is important. This is huge for Signal, Jamie. This is a statement for the HD Spikers, winning it over the Chukumuja Flying Titans. And I think this is uh, where they want to be going into the series. It is a series after all. I'm saying this, this is beyond skill, heart, courage, everything comes into play, especially during the crunch times. And you can see in their game, the blocking was more efficient, and more efficiency as well by the middle blockers in terms of attacks. It took them five sets, it took them a coming back from that uh, two set uh, deficit, and now they emerge the winners. Signal HD 1 0 in, these, uh, in this series. We'll be back after the break. Relive this game and all PBL games anytime, anywhere on the Filipinas Live app, available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for 149 pesos. 
and the five setter goes the way of Signal HD. Franny Reyes is with our player of the game. Our player of the game with 16 attack points. None other than Jovelin Gonzaga. And the Signal HD Spikers are one step closer to the finals of the All Filipino Conference. Jovelin, I have to ask, you were two sets down. Paano kayo bumawi in the third, the fourth, the fifth set? Siguro yung tiwala ng coaching staff na binigay sa amin and kung paano kami pumukpok sa training. And yung lagi na remind ng coaching staff sa amin na na-training na natin to, ito na yung game plan natin, so mag-stick lang tayo sa game plan. And ang laking factor na naglaro kami as one to his unit. Now you are one of the veterans of the team. How did you help Cesc Molina lead? Your first win here in the semifinals. Um, yung veteran na word, yun yung kailangan kong panindigan kasi kailangan talaga ako ng team um, sa bawat laro. So during this time, very critical, very crucial game. Kailangan ko mag-step up, no excuses. So yun, kailangan ko tulungan si Seth. Step up, no excuses. What a game for the HD Spikers. Ate Jovi, that would not be possible without the Signal HD Spikers fans here in the Phil Sports Arena. Batiin mo naman sila. Maraming maraming salamat sa pumunta and sa nanonood sa TV. Sa walang sa akong sumusuporta sa amin. Mula umpisa hanggang ngayon, may isa pa, may isa pang laban. Inalaban natin to hanggang dulo. And sa mga sa, um, team signal, sa signal management, sa buong katiyan ng Pilipinas, oh, Merry Christmas, everyone! Oh, Merry Christmas, Signal! Yes. Signal! Okay. Ate Jovi, isang happy na Signal naman! Happy na Signal! I miss you, Rachel! Para sa ito! Para kay Rachel Dacus, thank you! Jovelin Gonzaga, let's send it over to Chiki and Jamie to close this out. Thanks so much, Franny. I was actually waiting for that. For her to call out, Rad, Rachel and Dakis, who I'm sure she is missing. And this is what we are talking about. It's really the veterans coming uh, out and really just uh, doing their, playing their role, their important roles for the signal. That's right. Jovelin Gonzaga did say no excuses. Yeah. Now is the time. You can't wait for the second game to show up. You got to win now. And that's what they showed up in today's match. Right, let's not forget 17 digs along with the 16 oh. points. What an all-around game for Gonzaga. And uh, like we said, this is a series, so Choco Mucho will beat Signal again. They will take the first game uh, on Saturday. That's at 4 p.m. Make sure you are tuned in for that or at the arena. Even better, Cream Lions will play the second game against Cherry Pigo at 6 p.m. right here at the Phil Sports Arena. On behalf of Jamie Navitoria, Franny Reyes, our director, Alberi, this has been Chiki Puno. Thanks so much for sticking it out with us. Signal HD wins in five sets. <laughs>